Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 games. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to our Twitch stream tonight, or if you're watching on YouTube later. We have four games, as you just saw in the graphic just mm -hmm. before I switched over, of which one is a mystery game. I'm very excited. Yes, I like mystery games. that is very exciting. Uh, not too often we get them because that's uh, it's quite a thing to keep it secret yes. from everyone. <laughs> um, yeah, we've got four games, two of which are um, exclusive um, premieres. Oh, of course, excellent. the surprise one's a premiere because yes. it's a surprise. Yes. Um, uh, the second one is, uh, the other premiere is Berserk Soccer mm -hmm. uh, by Tom uh, from Ger from Berlin, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, the, and the surprise Atari 2600 homebrew is from Leandro Camara, mm -hmm. uh, who did uh, two games that we have played on the show, uh, Deep Space and Rally Racer. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Very, very cool. Um, and uh, another game we're going to be playing is... Now, I didn't quite understand how to pronounce that one, the second one there. Can you figure it out? Bracking? Bracking Bad Balloon? Nope. No? Breaking Bad Balloon. <laughs> breaking. Oh. Yeah, with the, it is with a Q. Oh, I see. But it's just... Breaking. Yeah. Uh, I guess plan words. Breaking Bad Balloon gotcha. by Stupid Bunny. Nice. And we're going to be playing the updated Roach in Space 2 oh. Cosmic Boogaloo on the 7800. Uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers. You can see down to the your right, our left. <laughs> Actually, they're not our left because they're not even there. So they're everyone's right. Uh, sure. Right? Because they're not floating there. Uh, Al Nefer, Armscar Coder, <laughs> Catalox, Coconut81, Glenn, Main, Great Defender, Gretem's Ground Trooper, Ozier Rapper2600, Johnny WC23, Juan Urado, Carl G. Croco2600, Mark Space Inc., Metal Atari1969, Mick Muse, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Packrat VG, Coog2600, RC70, Repentless VG, Ricardo Pim, Six Sweet, Smitty B7800, Socrates0603, Spartan581, Spiceware, Esmeralds2008, The Walshman89, Thunkist, and Tiki Dan K. Excellent. And a bunch of people have not resubscribed. Oh, just dropped all of a sudden, right off the list. <laughs> like a ton all at once. They must have all subscribed at once uh, on a certain day. And now they've all dropped off. Yeah, so if you didn't hear your name, just click resubscribe. That's right. Because you can do it for free mm. if you have Amazon Prime, which almost everyone does. Mm. And you just link it to your Twitch Prime. Especially nowadays with all yes. the online shopping we're all doing. Um, and all the Black being Friday. stuck inside. Yeah, the being to, stuck inside. Yeah. Yes. It is Ooh, Dan there ABC, we go. thank you. Dan ABC just subscribed and you yep. got a little pixel cat mm. wagging its tail. Wig, wag, wag, wag. Oh, excellent. That's working. Yeah, it, it just needed a, a kick. Yeah. Oh, when somebody subscribes, there's two pixels on the screen because <laughs> he's in the little logo too. Yeah, very cute. Um, and make sure you follow, subscribe, and click like on all the things Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Yeah, Dan ABC subscribed for seven months. Mm. Currently on a two month streak. Excellent. Hello, Danielle Medina. Yes, hello to everybody who's joining us live who are typing on the screen. Packrat VG, Dan ABC, Al Nefer, uh, Splendid Nuts, Smitty B7800, Leo C. Santi, uh, Captain Classic, I say Al Nefer, Miss Command. Packrat VG, Spartan 581, Flackets, and Grey Defender. And Emma K. Smith was in there oh. too. You're flying, you're flying past too fast. it there. Yeah, too fast. Yeah, I think Excellent. I, I think I got everybody who's typed Good so stuff. far. Oh, Ground Trooper. And too. Ground Trooper. Yeah. Welcome to you all. We do have a poll question tonight. Oh, Atari brought his toy. Is that on the screen? It is. You can see him in the corner. He's got his little bunny. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Did you see that? It. <laughs> I, it did get caught, I think. Yeah. Here, here, here. Throw, throw him his bunny. There, now everybody can see it. Yeah. There. That's his bunny he picks out of the toy box and he carries around and throws Maybe it all over the place. throw it in the air. Let's oh. see. Oh! oh! There you go. Oh my goodness. It's on oh. camera. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Aww. Oh, very cute. Yeah. He does like to destroy his prey. Yeah. So. <laughs> he is a killer. He is a killer. Um, as cute as he is and as purry as he is. Yes, baby. So the poll question tonight is... Do you enable scan lines on your emulators <laughs> oh. and upscalers? Um, because what scan lines are, for the people who don't know out there, are kind of bands of black mm -hmm. that...
kind of emulate what a game looked like on a CRT. Mm. Um, so some people want it to look like it does on a CRT mm. mm -hmm. um, to <clears throat> for nostalgia purposes or for it to look kind of more accurate to what it was made for because these systems definitely came out mm. during the era of CRTs mm -hmm. up to a certain uh, certain point. Mm. Do we have an example? Uh, no. <laughs> you can look it up. Um, yeah, they're, they're like a, a line of graphics mm -hmm. and then a band of black. Not really black, mm. kind of Kind of it's a, just on a the, fading. No, it's on no, the edges. No, it's it's horizontal lines going okay. down the screen. Okay. Because it'll draw a line and then draw another line. It's because there's interlacing as well. Okay. Yeah. And various things, um, but I think most people watching kind of are familiar with scan lines, and it's an option that you can put on or keep or turn off or turn off nice. on emulators. Mm. A lot of emulators. Um, you can do it on Stella, so um, you can make it look like, more, an, old CRT. More like an old CRT. <laughs> and also, a certain era of games, mostly SNES, it kind of started, and and also Sega Genesis that era. Mm. They kind of made the graphics so it kind of worked with the scan lines. Gotcha. Because of the intensity of the colors and the brightness, mm. they knew what it would look like with scan lines. Um, I don't know if emulators... So they, they program with it in mind kind of thing. Yeah, and there were certain tricks that they were able to use as well. So it looked a certain way. Phosphor option. Is this lines on the side of the screen? No. Lines on every second line. Separates the scan lines. Oh, thank you, Captain Classic, Yay. for subscribing. Resubscribing. <laughs> 11 months. Currently on 11 month streak. There yeah. we go. Rage sub expired no, no notification. They, they never do, which is bizarre. It is very annoying. Yeah. You'd think they would want people to, to, to donate. To continually re resubscribe. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Anyway. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> uh, option one is scan line mm, nostalgia and realism. Mm. And two, no thanks, crisp, clean edges, please. Mm. And I don't care for scan lines. I like the screen filled with perfect. Edges, Clean sharp, edges. sharp edges. Yeah. And some people don't even like the sharp edges. They, you can apply kind of a, a blur to it, almost like it's emulating the quality of the input too. Like mm -hmm. you can specify RGB or S video or composite or even RF input, and it gets all what, garbagey and blurry. Would you think it being too crisp actually impacts your enjoyment of the game, though? For some people, it does. They're yeah. like, this isn't. This isn't it's not what, what I remember to. seeing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it, there's a certain nostalgia factor. For I there. can see that. Yeah. Um, and and also there's the the realism of recreating mm. what it was made for, mm. um, because some it almost looks a little bit more rounded if it's a bit fuzzy rather than the sharpness. So if they're trying to make a ball, and you see it on a twenty six hundred, it's going to be like edges if you have it sharp. Mm. But if it's a little bit blurry like if it was on a CRT with kind of a bad input like just RF it'll actually be a bit rounder almost yeah um, so we've got some mail news and feedback in our news portion of the show I have a letter from Packrat what Ooh. could this be Packrat is in the chat so yes. this is always very nice he knows he knows he knows <laughs> yeah he sent it on October 29th but we also didn't Oof. check the mail for a while. Still, that's, yeah. It takes a it's while. slow. It's it is slow. slow. Yeah. It, did, arrived. it arrived. It <laughs> arrived. Yeah. yeah. Eventually. Um, we haven't checked the mail for a week, about. Yeah, but even so. Yeah. It's, that's, that's, that's a fair amount of time. Yeah, that's okay. Two, ooh, three weeks. Yeah. Yeah, it's a fair amount of time. Give or take a week. Which reminds <laughs> me that we have to work on, like, Christmas cards. Because <laughs> uh, no one's going to get yes. them if we don't send them out soon. Yeah, we make yeah. custom Christmas cards. We take a photo of us. And sometimes the cats. Yeah. Or sometimes just the cats. Sometimes just the cats. No um, one really wants to see us on a Christmas card. That's so. safe, too. Oh, but they're not as... We're not nearly as so cute as So it is a piece guy. of paper. International Super Observatory. Nice. Cerro <laughs> Paranal... Antofagasta, region de Antofagasta, Chile. In reply, refer to James Earl O'Brien. Dear Mr. O'Brien, dated October 16, 2019. Mm. 
in recognition of your exceptional observational achievement of collection of data on 22 new stars, Very even nice. as a score. Nice. We are pleased to award you the official rank of Stargazer. Your observational skills and dedication are commendable, and we would be honored to provide you with more observing time nice. whenever you are in such a need. Enclosed in this letter, you will find an official patch signifying your achievement. We encourage you to display it prominently when conducting future observations. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your service. Sincerely, T. De Lu, Director General, <laughs> ISO. ISO. Nice. Ooh, very nice patch. So. Look at that. It's very special. Sorry. Very specialized shape. Oh, I like that. Oh, let's switch over so you guys can see this. Yeah. Uh, webcam full. There's a nice. stargazer patch. Really, that really is nice. really nice. So it is actually a stitched patch. It's oh, like that's every, beautiful. Everything is oh, like actually yeah. stitched. Oh, yeah. It's like it's embroidered. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. There's the letter. Way to go. Really, really nice. So I'm, I'm really happy I finally got that patch. Mm -hmm. It is not an easy patch to get. And this was um, for uh, an astronomer. Mm -hmm. The game Astronomer. Mm -hmm. So that's a really challenging game. So I'm really that's glad fun. I was able to tick that off the list. Nice. I only have one more patch currently available okay. for Homebrew that I need to mm -hmm. get. Okay, cool. And that's very a nice. really hard one, mm -hmm. but I'll still try for it. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, very nice patch. So I highly recommend everybody trying for that patch, mm. for the Astronomer patch, because it's really, really nice. Mm -hmm. and a, yeah. a very cool letter, and it's printed on really shiny paper. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. yeah. High quality, high uh, density paper. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we're in the corner. Let's go back to full. Um, so I have ordered recently uh, the Ultimate Atari Video Board. I'll show you what this is. Okay. Um, uh, it's from the uh, Brewing Academy. Mm -hmm. There it is, uh, <coughs> Brian's Ultimate Atari Video mm. Board, in, in fact, uh, Revision D. Uh, so I can mod one of the S, uh, 7800s mm. for S-Video Out, which is the highest you can get right now. There is an RGB coming out. I don't know when, though. And I want to kind of get a jump on it, because I do have three 7800s. So I can mod one for S-Video, yeah. one for RGB. And it's always good to have a fallback anyway. Mm -hmm. um, so I uh, checked it on it today, and it crossed over into Canada yesterday. So it's mm. very, very close. Very, very soon. It actually crossed over. It's sitting at the border. Uh, may, and maybe. It might be sitting it's, at the border. <laughs> it, it, it may be there for two weeks. It may be there for a day. Yes. It's a roll of the dice. Mm -hmm. Depends how high the stack is, I guess. Yeah. Um, so the mod doesn't look too bad to install. I watched some videos on it. Mm. Um, there's, there's a fair m number of uh, soldering points. I think there's about eight wires around. Mm. Um, I think I do need to get uh, an S-Video connector. I can't remember what it comes with in the kit, but um, you can see here, I bought this kit. Yeah, I need to get an S-Video connector. Um, so it comes with the board, comes with a standoff for the chip, I think, a bunch of standoffs. Um, so yeah, so that'll provide a lot better output for the 1700. Mm. Um, because, uh, well, that leads me to the next news item, which is very, very exciting. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, that is, it's not exactly where I want this to be. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, that is where I want it to be, yeah. I think. Is it? Oh, it was. Anyway. Okay, the uh, Concerto SD cart has been announced. It is finished. Oh, okay. So, um, and this is made by Fred Quimby, a.k.a. Batari. Uh, he said, uh, right now it's only... He, he didn't say this. Right now it is only available to developers and by invitation, but he'll be opening it up for the public to order very, very soon. Very cool. Um, he posted, uh, bugs were fixed in the boot screen. Actually, here's some screenshots. This is from the, the Atari um, Atari Age forum thread. There you go. Bugs were fixed in the boot screen and now Concerto boots as reliably as any other cart. 
Game loading is also fixed. Uh, Pokey at 450 is now supported. Concerto is available today for developers or by invitation. Mm. So if you are a developer, oh. definitely oh. message hit, yeah, Atari. Yeah, hit him up. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because yeah. he wants the developers to yes. get a cartridge first. So they can they can play with it. They can play with it. Nice. And start testing their games on actual mm. real hardware because this was a very limited cart. Yeah. He had put this out a while back and it had some compatibility issues. So he went back to the drawing board mm. to uh, make sure everything was ironed out and he's got it fully working now. Mm. Um, so private message him. His name is Batari mm. on the Atari H forums. Uh, next week, they will be available to the general public. Um, so that I don't sell more concertos than I can produce in a reasonable amount of time. I'll be using an inventory controlled site to sell them and we'll be making them available in small batches. So I suspect they will be selling out instantly. So I would take uh, keep a watch on this thread um, so it emails you with updates or whatever you want to do. Keep refreshing all day long. Um, an announcement will on that will come later after the developer carts are sold. And if you do own a concerto, there's a firm a firmware update will be available. So mm. you don't even need to change the hardware. You just load up the new firmware and your concerto cart is good to go. Mm. Um, uh, better improves boot reliability, has better game support, um, and a bunch of other things that most people won't care about if they're just playing. Mm -hmm. So developers will care about that. Uh, for this pre-production special edition of concerto, the price will be $89 with free shipping to the US yeah. Uh, eight dollars to Canada. That's not Just bad. Eight dollars. That that's, that's truly really good. isn't bad. <laughs> yeah. And twelve dollars elsewhere. Yeah. Functionality is the same as past and future concertos, though. As today, firmware is still a work in progress, and not all features are implemented. So there will be updates, but I'm sure those will be loadable through the SD card. Mm. Uh, the SD card uh, price will probably go up when the firmware features are ready and concerto goes into full production. So it's a good idea to grab this now, now if mm. you can. Mm -hmm. Um, cause there was a lot of replies to this one. <laughs> I bet, yeah. Uh, if you buy early, don't mind updating firmware, which is going to be easy if he can do it off the SD card, which I don't see why not, uh, you know, likely, uh, not only likely save money, but you'll be helping support the continued firmware mm. development and full production run. When the concerto is available to the general public next week, an announcement will be posted here and you can see. 25 people <laughs> said you're awesome yeah and yeah. blah 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 yeah. lots of people yeah even will smith's excited <laughs> <laughs> uh carl g says he has one on the way um and uh, ground trooper says i can't wait uh let me see can't wait to send my existing one back for the upgrade so do you have to send it back Mm. It sounds like he, you're able to do the firmware update yourself. But maybe it depends on the version. Maybe it depends. If yeah. it's way back and it needs hardware yeah. changes, maybe. Very cool. Um, so mine is on the way as well. Mm. So I've got both the mod and the SD card cartridge, the concerto on the way. Mm -hmm. So we'll soon be playing 7800 Homebrew on a actual piece of hardware nice. which is really really exciting nice. been waiting a long time to do this mm -hmm. uh he says there's a transistor or something needs to be swapped uh, gotcha. okay okay so i guess up to a certain point you need hardware revisions and then after that it would gotcha. be software uh, yeah, okay yeah. that's fair good. enough yeah um i was debating to ask uh for one if i'm not an active 78 under developer well, I don't know. You always try. You can always try. <laughs> if you've made if, things for seven well, eight hundred, I would say you're a developer. I would. I would Especially also if you want to develop something. But yeah, that's I mean, if you're not if, my choice, if you're planning. But I mean, he probably has a limited number too. So yeah, so we probably factor that in a little bit as well. But uh, yeah, I mean, if testing. you're if you are actively a, a developer, mm -hmm. obviously you, you're going to qualify. But yeah. I would think. I don't want to speak for <laughs> Batari. Yeah, for Fred. Batari can uh, make make that make decision. The decision. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. But I'm sure he wants as many as possible. Oh, get that dinosaur back up. Um, so I'm really, really, really excited about that. Um, because then I can play some 7800 games that are only on cartridge. Mm. Mm. Like uh, the one I just got, uh, Ricky and Vicky. That is only on cartridge for 7800. And I would not want to play that through RF output. Terrible. Um, Unreal Tournament 2600 update. I just heard from MLDB and he's let me know that the Unreal Tournament for the 2600 mm. is extremely close to being ready. 
release ready, actually. Uh, see, he sent me over a great looking work in progress manual for it, for the game. And he'll be sending over the updated game very soon for an exclusive look on this channel. Nice. Um, I don't know if you ever played Unreal Tournament for the 2600. It's, it's really crazy. It's really good. It's like an overhead map and it's one versus one player. Okay. And there's different weapons pickups that you okay. get and it's capture the flag or m you shoot the other person like you have to capture the flag and then run back to your base yeah and there's different weapons you can pick up some are like um like missiles and shotguns and each of them has their own powers mm. it's it's really really good oh, yeah. it's crazy good cool. and got a ton of attention in the press when yeah. it first came out yeah so i i imagine when it's fully done yeah it's it's going to get a lot of attention nice. again nice hopefully not negative attention no <laughs> so that he gets shut down yeah which is not good which um relates to another um a news story that okay I have. um big news also from carl g mm. uh penalt the atari 2600 rpg mm massive massive rpg mm -hmm. it's crazy has moved moved forward into private beta testing oh um so i got the binary the other day and we'll be putting it through its paces over the next little while to nice. help them out with the game nice unfortunately i won't be able to reveal anything nothing at all um, on the show until it's ready um but uh look forward to the first public build when i'm able to reveal it Excellent. on the show Excellent. and uh when i can share it with everybody else Needs Quad Tari support. Yes, yes, it does. <laughs> Unreal Tournament with Quad Tari support would be unbelievable. Like you could do two versus two. I'll have to yes. message him about that. Yeah. I, I think he's pretty late in the Quad Tari game. Uh, in the production, in the production of his <laughs> oh, game. Oh, I see. Yes, yeah, so that's hard to make. So make he may not want to go back. Yeah. But that would be unbelievable. Mm. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. <laughs> that's my precious. I will, Carl. Um. Out of the blue, the YouTube channel, uh, Did You Know Gaming, mm. uh, which some of you people do know, Did You Know Gaming, it's quite big. Mm. It has 2 million subscribers, the oh, YouTube channel, it's yeah. very big. Um, they contacted me oh, yeah, this on, is funny. Uh, <laughs> on Twitter the other day, <laughs> which I was like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm in homebrew and they do homebrew yeah, stories, yeah. so it's not unusual that they would. Yeah. Um, uh, they contacted me... Uh, about something strange. I'm like, okay. Uh, they contacted me about the C64 version of Super Mario Brothers, the homebrew of it. Mm. I'm like, okay, I've heard of that. Why you contacted me? Because <laughs> yeah. their message was very cryptic. And yes. I was like, what is, what is, what is this? Why, why, like, why would I be able? Why am I the authority on answering a, about a C64 homebrew? Yeah, that's very strange. Um, uh, because it got taken uh, down by Nintendo. They got a cease and desist. Oh. Um, because they don't like people making yeah. stuff out of their IP, yeah. right? Um, so they're asking me a bunch of questions like, oh, do you know blah, this or this or this? Do you have any more information about it? I'm like, I don't, I don't really know much about it. I, I mean, I could look up things yeah. in Google just like you could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have anything special about it. And I said, well, I, I mostly concentrate on 2600 and 7800 homebrew. I'm quite knowledgeable on that. Yeah. But not too much in the C64 stuff. Um, and then it, I kind of did some digging about the C64 Super Mario Brothers. And I found out why they contacted me, actually. Yeah. Um, the creator of the Super... It is a great port, actually. Yeah. The Super Mario Brothers game's name is Zero Page. <laughs> Z-E-R-O-P-A-I-G-E. Oh. So I think they were just looking around Twitter for zero page and, and started, they came across you came across mine and it just auto completed or something and oh. like just sending out that is just so asking weird. right yeah that's funny um, but I did say uh, I was very very into <laughs> to <laughs> yeah. put it mildly twenty six hundred and seventy eight hundred homebrew yeah and they're like well do you know any things about twenty six hundred and seventy eight hundred homebrew cease and desist from Nintendo I'm and like. Yes, I do. <laughs> I know something called Princess Rescue. Yeah. And they didn't, they 
didn't have them in their list for oh, their news nice. story that they were going to do. So yeah. I gave them a bunch of information. Yeah. Um, I contacted the developer, which I know the developer mm. of of uh, Princess Rescue. Mm. I mean, everybody is. It's Sprybug. Yeah. Um, but I talk with him quite quite regularly. Okay. So I let him know that they're looking for um, info to on talk, that. Talk yeah. to people about this. Yeah. Um, and Princess Rescue is a great port as well. Yeah. But his got taken down too. Yeah. I mean, you can download it. It's free to download. Now. Yeah. They just were they not were super, selling it. They right? were not super happy yeah. about him selling it, yeah. let's uh, say. Yeah, yeah, that's understandable. Um, so hopefully they get in contact with him. Yeah. And if he wants to do that, because he, he got a lot of news stories written about him when that came out. He got written up in Wired Magazine mm. and a bunch of other things. So mm. there's plenty of information already out there, even yeah. if they don't contact connect up. Yeah. Yeah, so that was that was interesting, and very coincidental that it that they contacted somebody who who, who was who sounded like the person who made Super Mario Brothers, <laughs> but actually turned out to be somebody who had actually could actually help them a lot with their news story. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It was yeah. very, very interesting. Yeah. I mean, zero page is is an internet term. Oh, it's a programming term. A yeah. programming term. So it's not not too that off disparate from what they were looking for, but it yeah. is kind of funny. It so. is. It is funny. It happens. Um, ERA Games. Let's see. Just put out that. Where's the information? There it is. Um, it says we well this is translated from portuguese uh we're letting you know that the pre-sale of cave rescue game will be uh, available at 10 p.m on november 23rd 2020 so in three mm. days so the game we played last show is now going to be on sale on 23rd what mm. is that Saturday, Sunday, monday so on monday mm. um there's 50 copies uh numbered copies um and you can actually ask for the number mm. which that you want you have to give them three numbers in order. Um, they are available for 199 Brazilian real. So can you guess how much that is? Anyway. No idea. <laughs> uh, it's 30, 37 US dollars. Oh, okay. And you yeah, get um, yeah. a manual, a poster in a box. Nice. Um, so that that's very, very cool. reasonable, actually. Very, cool. very reasonable price. Yeah. Um, so that you get all the details from their Facebook page, ERA Games homebrew you can see it on uh the screen there see i've, I've done uh a bunch of new profiles for showing things on yes. the screen yeah james is very excited about that yeah so <laughs> so it makes it so much easier yes, than to flip back and forth fiddling around yeah. with screens and stuff yeah no that's good so i cut off all the stuff that i don't want people to see so i don't have to press f11 yeah and uh yeah it's, it's great hmm. so that didn't make it any bigger did the opposite and yeah, no, that doesn't help anyway Oh my god. <laughs> so much for that. Let's go back. No. Nope. There we go. We're back. Okay. Um, so anyway, if you like that game that we showed, um, you can um, check that out and order your copy in a couple of days. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to take a quick look at a bunch of games that have just been released. Um, they're just early work in progress. They're not really games yet. Okay. But I wanted to tell people that they exist um, because they look pretty cool. And hopefully to encourage the creators of them to keep working on them. Um, because one of them is like, I just did this and eh, uh, I'm done. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, you should keep going on it because it's pretty damn cool actually. Um, so the first one we're going to take a look at is Binary Land by Cloaked. And this was originally a NES game, mm. um, actually Famicom, I think. So let's take a look at that. Binary Land, and it's for the uh, 1700. Oh, that's not going to work. Let's load up video games. See, I didn't have this one loaded. See, that's not good. <laughs> there we go. And I have a profile for this, too. <gasps> Very nice. Oh. Anyway, ignore that thing on the left. Um, so this is... I, I've actually played either this game or something like this game. Mm. Um, what you do is you control two guys at once. Oh, okay. 
and you there's have to avoid the obstacles and various things. things. So if I go up here now, yeah, one guy's going to get caught in the spider web. Like nothing's active right now. You no. can move all over the place. No. So you have to go there. Yeah, and then to the left or right. Or well, right. there's a guy blocking it both ways. So we're gonna. So you can kind of. Well, you can't do much right now. So let's go up here. Pretend that guy is not evil and deadly. Is he deadly? No. No. So now. I can't get that guy. But you can get the red thing. But now I can go there. Oh, I see. You get out there, of sync. And you get out of sync, but then you have to get back into sync uh, to complete the level. And it'd be like, yeah, when yeah. you get to the next level. Nice. And I like that. That's very he cute. Is, he is uh, going to continue on with this game. Nice. And yeah. so what this is, is just going to be a multiple levels and different patterns oh, and different enemies. Yeah. It's a really, really cool concept. That's and I like cool. this game. It's kind of action-y puzzly. Well, it's, yeah, yeah. Because there is dangers. Yeah, and things might be more active, possibly. Um, yeah. yeah, so some levels will be more action-y, some will be more puzzly. Mm. I think it's, and you have to really concentrate on two things at once. Yeah, it is kind of mm. trippy. Um, so sometimes you have to get one guy kind of trapped and then get one guy moving. Yes. And then wait for that guy to be safe. Like, oh, let's get him up there. Yeah. Now I can move this guy over. Mm and move up. Anyway, this is just an example. Yeah. Uh, this is actually a port of mm -hmm. a game. Um, let me see what... Oh, I don't have it. Damn it. Let me find the original name of it. It might actually be called Binary Land for the NES. I'm almost certain it's called Binary Land for the NES. Binary Land! What does he say? Oh, he doesn't really talk about it there. Doesn't talk about it there. Anyway, yeah, it's uh, it's called Binary Land. I'm pretty sure. Um, it was made for Famicom. I don't know if it was ever made uh, ported over to the NES. Um, so the next game, which unfortunately he says he's not going to continue on with, is called Chase by <sighs> Lila Project and Pow and. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I remember he got me to pronounce. Use, yes. Use a pronunciation. Yeah. Uh, tool. Yes, I remember that too. <laughs> um, but I've forgotten it because it's a crazy name. Crazy translated into English. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So each level is like this, oh, where okay. you eat up all the dots. It's kind of like Pac-Man. Okay. But with no power pellets, mm. and the enemies move around slowly in the maze. Yeah. Um. So I'm hoping he does continue on with that. It's uh, also a port, and it is a port of uh, Shiru's Chase for the NES. Mm. Uh, let's see if I can find a video of that, actually. So you guys can see what it's actually like. Because it... I, I really hope he, he continues on, because... It's pretty much the basics are there, mm. right? There we go. Go full screen with that. If you can go to YouTube. Oh, that one's not going to work so well. There we go. Excellent. Neat. I love how you've got the happy guy and the mean guys. Yeah, the mean all the faces. frowny faces. Or are they frowny faces or those those are really good uh, mus mustaches? <laughs> they could be mustaches. Mustaches. Yeah. So it's kind of like Pac-Man. Mm. And they and chase after they you. They chase after you. Oh, 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 did he die? Did he I get it? Know. Oh, he got oh. it. Oh. So various mazes, mm, increasing number of enemies. Um, it's kind of like lock and chase ex as well, except you have no defenses, no offenses, no power pellets. Mm. It's just really, really interesting. Mm -hmm. 550 US dollars. <laughs> no, not 550 US dollars. <laughs> nice. Uh, what was it? 37. That's what I kept. It's 37 dollars. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I may be mistaken, but I, 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 uh, ah, you threw it in, throw, you threw it in Google basically. Yeah. yeah. So this is a port of an NES game. Or at least, yeah, NES Famicom, uh, Chase by Shiro.
Maybe it's called Chase in um, in the English uh, NES version. Um, but uh, I hope he continues on. It looks like a super fun, simple little uh, game. I'm not saying it's simple to make, but fun to play. Easy to pick up. Easy mm -hmm. to understand. Um, now this next one has just started. It's only been a video released of it. Um, it is... City Sim. Mm. I don't know what it could be a, 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 um, a port of <laughs> with that name. It's by 2600. Um, so right now he's got a placement of your different facilities working. For Sim, it's, it's Sim City. Club. It's Sim City. Yeah. 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 Uh, he's got the land. Nice. Uh, he's got some road. Nice. Um, it looks like he's got some evolution yeah. of each of the placements of the things. Um, and that's about it. And oh, he's got a uh, selector as well. See, so it's on I for industrial. Mm. And um, so this is a very ambitious project. I, I think. think it is. It's but quite a complex game. Like a lot of interaction, yeah. a lot of things going on, yeah. a, lot a lot of things of on the screen. Yeah, happening in the background too. Yes. Yeah. Um, but wow, is that going to be a big hit if, uh, if he gets that done? And I don't oh, see. we're playing. We're oh. playing that on the show. If that happens <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> Yeah, that's really, really exciting. Yeah. Um, so that's that's as much as been shown. Mm. Is is and this is for the seventy eight hundred as well. Mm -hmm. And the last one is VHZC, another new game. How how does he come out with so many games? <laughs> This is called Night Guy on Board. Oh, Thirty Squares it, of Fate. It looks like a um, a Monopoly style game. Yeah, it's Monopoly RPG mix. Nice. So you can see he's moving around the board with nice. the night guy. Yeah. And you land on different things. Okay. Um, there's like swords and mm. potions. Uh, so you can land on an enemy. Oh, I see. Oh, and, okay. But you do get to pick attack, potion, or run. Gotcha. Um, so it's not just automatic when you land on something. Nice. Victory. And you roll the dice. Very cool. It looks like it's one, two, three, or some, I don't know what it goes up to. And that's like a random thing he landed on. Oh. So that's about that's it. That's neat. So let's just pause it and take a look. Is that See, jail games, or? Games like this need to work with the Wi-Fi function so you can go back and <laughs> yes. forth on the board with someone else. I'm just throwing that out there. That would be very, very cool. Yes. Because the timing isn't as important and it's turn-based. Oh, yeah. So I just throw so no that out there. No precision needed. Yeah. Lag time could be like a second. But this is 7800. So this isn't the Atari 2600 yeah, Wi-Fi stuff. Yeah, so. I don't know of any Wi-Fi enabled 7800 right now. No. Yeah. I'll but. come up with a Atari version. <laughs> Somebody get on it. Yeah. Board game. <laughs> Wi-Fi. Wi so Al Nefer, get on it for yeah. 7800. <laughs> you can... Yeah. Talk with go Bata back and forth. Talk yeah. with Batari and yeah, you have a Wi-Fi enabled uh, concerto yeah. card. Yeah, yeah. Um, so those are just like little snippets because I want to include them because they look really really cool. Yeah. Um, so there you go. That's that's all the new stuff uh, for the news. Um, so let's get into the surprise Atari Twenty Six Hundred Homebrew. Um, Night Guy on board should have an ocean cruise theme. Yeah. <laughs> you could make it a pirate ship on board, because yeah. that's the pun Randy's mm. going after. Terrible. Terrible pun. <laughs> uh, or maybe a pirate... Th oh, somebody said pirate... Th I yes. didn't read that before I said yeah. it. Yeah, ocean sequel, cruise pirate... Sequel could be called KG Overboard, Yeah. and he could be on a desert island. Could be. Because you could dig up treasure there. Yeah. Very cool. Sequel's already made for him. Yeah. VHZC is so prolific. Oh, yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Of course, on the other hand, it also takes a very long time to finish a game. Like, he's got, like, seven games going at once right In now. progress, In yeah. In progress. He just gets tired. I, you know what? If you're a little ADHD, it's like you start it, great, you've achieved what you want to, and you never finish it. So, mm -hmm. that happens, too. But he doesn't I relate stop to making them. He keeps yeah. continuing making all of them. So I think he just likes variety or mm -hmm. something. But all of his games are incredible. And we're playing one tonight. Mm. Um, Surprise Atari 2600 Homebrew <gasps> by Leandro Camara. Mm. Uh, this is an exclusive premiere. Uh, he's made Deep Space and Rally Racer. Uh, he sent this over to me November 18th. 
He messaged me, hi James, I'm back with news. Can I send the news to your email? I'm like, sure. <laughs> <laughs> what news is this? And then the email said, hi James, I'm sending you a surprise game. Wow. Feel free to check out the game before playing it on the show. I just checked it out to make sure it worked. Yeah. Functions, um, yeah. So I did see a tiny bit. Yeah. Um, but you didn't see any of it. No. Uh, if you think Persever. if you think it's necessary, <laughs> or if you find it fun, open the surprise during the show. Mm. I think that it would be interesting for Tanya to be on the show with you because it seems to me she will play well this game. Mm. Um, attached to the instructions in a text file. I haven't read those. Uh, the same thing. If you want to read before or if you prefer, read the instructions during the show. Mm. Hope you like. Cheers, Leandro Camara. So mm. I have no idea how big or small or what this game is about. I only just took a peek to see what whether it worked or not mm. so i'm gonna get up little cat hope you don't move though Raphael says let's see what leandro made this time yep thank you there very much go. Mm. At left. Ready. so let's switch over atari so i've got the Little graphic there, surprise Atari 2600 yep. homebrew. You want me to click on it? Yet? Um, do I need to get more wine? <laughs> I don't need to get more wine. Well, I we do need, to, need to get more wine, but right I want to play. <laughs> not right now. It'd be a very bad time to go right now. Yeah. Um, yeah, click on that. And surprise zero page. Homebrew. I love that you have it as surprise. Well, it is a surprise. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Look, Atari. Oh, my goodness. Come here. Come here. Oh, my goodness. Look, it's you on the screen. <laughs> Look. Oh. Pixel's there, too. He's yes. jumping around. He's got little white booties. Oh. A little white face. That's so cute. It says zero page homebrew. 2600. 2600. Oh. oh. So cute. <laughs> okay. All right. Press the button. Nope. Nothing. That's okay. That's all there is. <laughs> oh, is it Pong? Yeah, I the other side doesn't. Don't know. It looks like Pong. Oh, maybe you dodge. It's dodgeball. <gasps> is is it? it? Yeah, oh. I think it is. Okay. The instructions say, Hi, James, Tanya, Darcy, <laughs> Erlen, and the cats. Here's my Christmas gift from uh, <laughs> for you for having dedicated so much time this year to homebrews made by all of us and for the Atari 2600. Uh, thank you very much, and I hope you like it. Have fun, Leandro Camara. Instructions. Zero page homebrew 2600. I guess that's the name of it. It's called... Catch with C A T capitalized. Catch. Gotcha. Cats are excited to play with some new toys. Nice. Tanya, Darcy, and Erlen decided to invade a pong arena <laughs> to collect some balls for the cats to have fun. But James needs to start the show soon. Now James needs to stop his friends from their goals and still dodge the balls, otherwise, he'll be late for the show. The game is for two players. Choose here which character will face James. Oh. Difficulty switches combination. For Tanya, BB. Oh, normal. I see. Okay. BA for Darcy, easy. AB for Erlen, medium. <laughs> and AA for Atari Cat, hard. Oh, we have to try AA. Okay. Oh, my goodness. So let's take a look so at the So we're catching, I'm um, catching the balls. So AA. There's it. <laughs> oh, there's the Atari Cat. Look. It's you. <laughs> BB is Tanya. So you're wearing uh, a blue skirt. Yes. And a purple top. Nice. Oh, this is so funny. And then BA is Darcy. He's wearing a, <laughs> his wearing a green, green, his green shirt. Green shirt and uh, gray pants. And then AB is Aaron. <laughs> Nice. Got a blue shirt yes. and some brown pants. He does have brown pants. He yeah. does have brown pants. <laughs> that is so awesome. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so I'm catching the ball. Is that the... Oh, oh, it's over. 30 points. 30 points. And then the mysterious black cat shows up. <gasps> oh, oh, catch. It's the, it's the pixel cat. <laughs> the ghost of the pixel cat. Okay. So let's read how to actually play so this. so funny. James' friend's goal. 
uh, the collect hair. the collect the most balls for the cats and try to escape James. So I guess I'm always playing player one. Okay. Because <laughs> I always play myself. Um, uh, James goals. My goals is to finish the status bar by picking up your friends and escaping the ball that gets in your way and slows you down. So I have to pick you up? Hmm. Oh, wait. No, you have to not get hit by the ball. It says finish the status bar by picking up your friends and get escaping the ball. Escaping the ball. So, so don't get hit by the ball. Don't get hit by the ball. Yeah, it, I, I, it seemed like a dodgeball style. Like you, you were dodging. They deactivated styles. Uh, very cute. Yeah, left joystick, move James in all directions. Nice. So you didn't move right, did you? Well, I, I moved a little, but I wasn't quite sure what my goal was. So, so you have to go get the other person. Oh, you don't? Yeah. Oh, oh. oh okay. okay. Uh, right joystick, move James' friends in the intended direction. To start the game, press the reset switch to change from the title screen to the game screen, and then move either of the two joysticks in any direction, and the ball will move. Ah. Score for James' friends. One score point for each ball captured for cats. So the right-hand person has to capture the ball for the cats. So the, right, the person on the right captures the ball, and James has to dodge the ball. And get the person. And get the person. James' score, gotcha. the smallest amount of balls collected by friends, determines the size of your success. Okay, nice. so the less... So does that Wait. go up every time it hits you too? Oh, it does, so... Player two sprite, don't touch the ball. Player two grab ball, avoid James. Yes. Avoid James, so you're running away from James. Right, yes, <laughs> but trying to get the ball too. You're, you're getting the ball and avoiding James. Yeah. Uh, uh. And then there's a pixel cat wave after. <laughs> Every 30 points in the score, the pixel cat enters the game room. And James <laughs> needs to capture the black cat six times within 35 seconds to win the game immediately. However, each capture of the pixel cat restores one square of the status bar, delaying James if he needs to return to the arena. The game ends when the status bar reaches zero, okay. or the pixel cat is grabbed six times, so James can already start the show with his guest of the day. Good luck for the cats. So the color black and white switch mutes the footsteps, the footsteps um, of the sounds of the two player in the black and white position. Joystick button press, pressed silences each player's steps. Mm. So you can try that. Okay. So you can silence your own steps. Mm. Difficulty switches can be exchanged when you're playing, changing characters during the game. Design and programming, Leander Camara. Atari 2600, November 2020. Nice. So I've got to get another joystick. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> so you can play it yourself. Well, sort of. This is so cute. I'm going to play with this Epic joystick. Okay. Oh. Oh. It's the pixel wave. Yep. Oh, yeah. One cat captured. I love your floppy hair. Too. <laughs> it should it bounce. It is awesome. It should bounce. <laughs> It doesn't need to bounce. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, look at the pixel faces at the bottom when you capture them. Do you see the pixel faces? Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> oh. 30. Okay. Oh, that's so cute. So I guess you want to be playing you. Well, yes. There you go. So you're capturing me and I'm capturing the ball. Yes. Oh, started. I have to avoid the ball. Ow. <laughs> ah, 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 no! Ah. ah! See, it resets me when I get. Oh yes, my god! Yes, when you get hit. And I move so slow. <laughs> but that's the point. Because yeah. you have to make it fair. Yeah. But it's also very, really great, huge sprites. Oh my god. No. No! It came out of nowhere! <laughs> Does it always come out of there? No, it doesn't. It comes out of there when I'm on that side. When I'm on the left side, it comes out of the... Okay, okay, I get it now. Ah. At least I know where it's coming from now. 
So you're trying to reduce your green bar. So am I, incre I'm not increasing your green bar, I'm increasing the score. You're increasing the score, yes. Gotcha. Ah. Am I supposed to be, I guess ah. I am supposed to be dodging you. Uh, if you can. I don't know if it's, oh. Oh, there's a cheaty, cheaty way I can see you getting a ton of balls. Yeah? Yep. I don't know if it works, though. Oh, you changed into a cat. Oh, oh, he's, so oh he's so cute. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> he's so cute. He's so cute. <laughs> Pixel, come here. Bad cat. Bad cat, come here. Hey. Bad cat, come here. Oh no, you escaped me. This is what it's like. He's very naughty. <laughs> oh my goodness, those white paws are adorable. Oh no. Oh, when he no. stops, he loafs. Oh. Ah, oh. it ended. It yeah. was it timed? I think it was timed. But you got away. I almost got six. I have to capture, I have to capture Pixel to start the show. Do you? Yes. But he got away. He's a naughty cat. Yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is so amazing. <laughs> that Leandra made a game about <laughs> zero, zero page. page. With the cats. And her, the, having the, the cats. cats in it is so oh, adorable. It is adorable. I love how that the fact that your co-hosts are trying to run away from you. <laughs> <laughs> Get here! No, no! Get over here! Well, I guess that is uh, true to life because really, <laughs> I never get home on time. So no. I'm always uh, I'm never I'm never on to time. Start the show on time. I can never time. get you to start the sh the show on time. So. Oh my god. I am at a severe disadvantage <laughs> in this game. Ah. The cat level's a little bit hard, a little bit easier than yes, this level. Yes, I think you're me. right. Um, oh, you there's move a different faster. settings actually. There are. So I don't know if I move faster or you move slower. Maybe, maybe both. I mean, we'll have to try. We'll yeah. have to try the Atari setting. <laughs> the Atari <laughs> setting's the hard hardest. Setting. Yeah. Hardest for you or for me? I don't know. Maybe both. Maybe easiest for you and hardest for me. I don't know. Yeah. Capture and ball score should be different, but uh, well. The, the bar. Catch, the bar is the capture. Come here. Come here. Ah, 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 come ah, here. Come ah, here. Ah. Oh, you got one. Look at him loafing when he stops. Do you see it? <laughs> yes. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> oh my god. It's so cute. It's adorable. So we don't know when I the time runs out on this I kind of want you to capture him because I want to see what happens. Okay. So. Oh, it just, oh, it just ends. ends. Okay. And the show starts. So sixty. I want to have that low. For my score. Uh, yeah, I guess so. For you, you want it to be as high as, as possible. As high as possible, yeah. You're preventing me from getting a high score. Needs a windscreen so it's clear who won. Yeah, well, I don't nobody know if really wins. wins. I think it's just whoever's on player two is trying to get the highest it's, score. It's kind of score based. Yeah. It's not a who wins yeah. or who loses. Yeah. Look at Pixel. Oh my Run away, goodness. Pixel! <laughs> <laughs> the team seems to have a disadvantage. <laughs> well, the, you don't want the, sh the game to last to be too short. No. And you don't want it to be too yeah. long. So who is the easiest? Hmm. So you were the I'm easiest. I'm the easiest. So Atari Cat is the hardest. Yes. You. This guy. This guy right here. Okay. It's so freaking cute. Oh, I'm excited for him to run around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we haven't seen him run around. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, you're fast, aren't you? I don't know, but I'm, I'm a smaller um, oh, yeah, uh, surface smaller. area to capture the balls on. Yeah. Atari is a very, very, <laughs> very efficient at capturing balls. So, <laughs> yes. just, come here. Just, just think of them as ah, as treats. Yeah, trying to catch Atari though. Ah, <laughs> so cute. So you don't know if he's faster. Ah, ah. I think he's a bit faster. I think he is a bit faster. He's a bit faster, but. It's a little bit harder to catch the balls. You are smaller, which also helps quite a bit. 
I to, think. To get away from you? Yeah. A little bit, yeah. Because you don't take up like a fourth, a quarter of the screen. Ugh. Oh. When I'm on that side, the ball comes out of the lower yes, right corner. It does. It does and make it I'm... challenging. He's so cute. Oh, the <laughs> the bar on the bottom constantly decreases no matter what level um, I'm on. Like it's a, it never resets. It's a time decrease, or no? Nope, it's whenever I catch you, it goes down. Oh, I see. So if I go to level two, it's still going down at the same. Mm. Oh, pixel level. <laughs> ah, ah, right away. <laughs> so when you hit 30 points, you get a pixel level. Uh, yes. Yeah, is it 30? Yeah. 30 Every and 30? 60, yeah. Oh, okay. Every 30 by the looks of it. Uh, one more. No, no. Ah. Oh. I did much better. Okay. If you put hats on Santa hats on the characters, it becomes a holiday very game. Very true. That's very true. <laughs> that is so super so cute. Now you get to play I me. Played, I played it a little bit, but who are, who are you going to play? Darcy play or Darcy. Erilyn? Play Darcy this time. Or which one do you want me to play? Oh, whichever. Ah. Yeah. Darcy is tall. Oh, it just alternates. It doesn't come out depending on where. Ah, ah. Oh, it doesn't alternate. I'm trying to figure out the pattern of this, of the ball. Oh. I, don't, I don't quite understand it yet. Oh, get back here! Hi, cat. <laughs> Not a cat yet. I will be, though. I think it just alternates. Yeah, right, left, yeah, left, right, I think. <laughs> so funny. No, it doesn't alternate. What is... It's random? It might be random, yeah. Anything actually happens when I get hit by a ball. Ah! Uh, oh. uh, yeah, the the number goes up. Goodness. Meow 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 meow. Stop it! Meow 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 meow. I got you once. Meow 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 meow. Come here. Meow 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 meow. You're making me laugh too hard. <laughs> Yep. He's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Come get me. Meow. Meow. Oh. Oh, yeah. Survive. I survived. Then, then it resets, right? No, you, you have the same score. Oh, the bar resets. Does the bar reset? Oh, so every round? Every time you get 30 points, it goes to pixel round. Yeah. And I'm trying to get the bar down. Right. Um, I don't think any of us has successfully gotten the bar down. Yeah, I did last time. No, you didn't. I don't think you did. Oh no! Because it's a it pixel, just, I caught pixel. Yeah, because if you if you get the bar down, then you win. Or if you get the pixels, you win. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Darcy's too tall. That's the problem. <laughs> I'm able to capture the ball easily. Well, he's he's a bigger target for you to get. Yeah, maybe. The sprites do look great. They're really well They're colored. really well done. And yeah. the floppy hair just really, like, just it's cinches the, it. Yeah. It's got the beard on me. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Never thought it'd be immortalized in a video game. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. <laughs> meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. You can't catch me. I'm Pixel. <laughs> Meow, meow, meow. Come get me. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> meow, meow. <laughs> I've got little oh. white paws. <laughs> it's so cute. Look at his paws. Come get me. <laughs> it's not easy to get away. 
<laughs> yes, Pixel is the best with the white feet. So oh my cute. goodness. <laughs> it is really hard to play as me. Uh, yeah, you, you do feel like you're trailing. <laughs> I feel like I'm just wrenching on this this joystick because I want you to move faster. Do not. Um, you definitely move slower than Darcy. Yes. Like I have to corner you without hit, getting hit by a ball. Oh, you're gonna hit 90 soon. Nani! <laughs> meow, meow. <laughs> meow, meow, meow. <laughs> this is what it's like trying to get... The <laughs> trying to catch the cat. Pixel out of the bedroom at night. Oh. Get out of the bedroom! <laughs> we want to sleep. Or trying to, trying to get him into the carrier for the vet. Yep. No! <laughs> meow! <laughs> I'll let you capture me. <laughs> Aw. So cute! Adorable! <laughs> uh, Sprites look great. Yeah, when Tanny has to chase a cup of coffee. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> My 16 week old kitten I adopted a month ago, 12 weeks, looks like Atari. White and black, medium hair with one white oh, ear, oh, white paws, and legs. Mean, yeah, he said later he meant Pixel, but yeah, yeah, I are, love black and white cats. Are the character speeds a programming choice or a limitation? Uh, they're programming they're choice. Yeah, they're different. They're different heights. They're also different speeds. Yeah. Um, Atari's the fastest because he's a kitty. Yeah. And Tanya's the easiest. Mm -hmm. I am the slowest. Actually, <laughs> no, you're on, you're normal. I'm Darcy's normal. the easiest. Oh, I found Darcy harder. Yeah, so I maybe Darcy's I, I felt like easy you were for faster. me. Yeah, easier for you. So that I'm going to play sense. Atari Cat, and then you can see. Because this should be... So Dar Atari Cat is the hardest? Yeah. It's probably hardest for you to capture the ball. It would be. Because your your surface area is smaller. He loves too. He oh, loves so cute. <laughs> and he's got the right colors too. Yeah. A little the bit stripes. little bit of white on the face. He's got well, the stripes he's got on beige the tail. on his face, but Yeah, it's got yeah. some beige. Captured all the colors of Atari. Very well. And he he's and he his... is a tabby cat, so Yeah. He's done his research. <laughs> Well, there's lots of lots of photos of the cats on the internet. <laughs> trying to figure out what red shirt he. Uh... Sorry. Because I'm wearing a red shirt. Oh, you have a red shirt. I have which, a red which... shirt. I have, an, uh, I have one of the homebrew red shirts. Right, but I have a red shirt too. I can't remember well, which one it is. Probably is more. Oh. Uh, more more about the uh, color. Yeah. yeah. Having having them all look individual and different. Oh, a limitation. Oh, you mean like, could they move faster? Oh, they definitely could move faster yeah. if you wanted them to. I think th I think they're moving the same speed. I think it's... Oh, you want... Oh, I'm come gonna... over here and have... Oh, you mean my characters? I don't know. Is, is that both of character us? changing? Okay, stop. Let's have a race. Okay, stop. Go to the left. No, no, no. We have to start at the same position. Oh, I see. Okay, ready? Yeah. Hold on. Now. Go. Yeah, you are moving faster. Yeah. Definitely. So start again, yeah. and then I'll go you to me? me. Darcy's the easiest, yeah. so okay. Yeah. Ready? Mm -hmm. Go. Go. I feel that's even Darcy, faster. I'm faster, so it's easy for me. It's easier for easier me. for you. And then yeah. if you're um, me, it's a little bit harder. Then it's Carolyn's a little bit harder than that. I, I see. And Atari's the hardest. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. I would sort of like to see them move at dragon fire speeds and make it a free for <laughs> <laughs> dragon fire is well, especially, crazy fast. Especially the cats. <laughs> like that actually <laughs> would be, be so authentic. Cute. It would be yeah. authentic. Those cats move fast. Yeah. Meow, 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 meow. Okay, let's have a race here. Okay. Okay. Ready? Three, two, oh. one, go. go. Yeah. He's moving Atari speed, I think. Yeah, about Atari speed. So yeah. the cats move the same speed, yeah. About half 
double the speed you do. Yeah. Cute. Very cute. Oh my god. <gasps> Thank you so much. Leandro, that is, <laughs> that is so adorable. What a great surprise. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. And uh, a quite a fun game. Yeah. And he could make a Christmas version with a little hat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, that is so nice. Thank you so much. If you wanted to do some updates, I would make the bar go down faster because it's really hard to play as me. I think the cat level, the um, yeah pixel level, is perfect. Yeah, it's very it lets very you even. jump to the end. Yeah, it's very very even. Um, but this one, I think the the green bar needs to come down a little bit faster. Yeah, I think that would be it though, because yeah. I think the rest of it's good. And the the thirty balls to get to the pixel level. That's fair. That works. Yeah, yeah it all works. Yeah. yeah. D train, a lot of good stuff. Yes. Yes, a lot Those of good cats. ideas. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Just heartbreaking. They're so cute. Can't get back to the unless you the drawing. main screen. Yeah. Oh, I see. No, oh, that's okay. Oops. I wanted to see it again. Well, just let me catch you a few times. It'd be easier to... Easier for me to catch... No. Be... no, 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 no. I want to catch you. I want to see what happens. Because oh, we yeah. haven't been able to actually do that. That's true. I'll avoid the balls and head towards you. And you avoid the balls as well. No, you're not avoiding the balls very well. You're well, already at five. It hit right into me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it goes down really slowly. It does, yeah. So it'd be very hard to win at this level. Oh, so cute. Yeah, the animation's great on the walking. And the sprites are really appropriate sized. Ah. It's actually hard to not get balls. <laughs> yes, it is. Because it only takes one of the two people on the screen. We'll make it. Oh, we're oh, red. it's flashing. It's flashing. Score is flashing. We we're haven't seen this yet. About actually. to get captured to be sucked into the zero page there we uh, go. Uh, homebrew show. <laughs> <laughs> ZPH third annual nominee. Does ZPH need to recuse themselves? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do get a vote. Um, and part of the nomination <laughs> committee. Yeah, only one vote. Though. And we've we've <laughs> finalized the the nomination committee for twenty six hundred nice. and seventy eight hundred. Nice. Okay. Um, and the nominations obviously start January first. Yeah. yeah. And actually, I do have the dates for that. I just haven't announced it yet. Yeah. Um, and the nominations take place from the first to the tenth, and then the voting. I will officially announce this at some point, but I'll just tell you guys, because you're watching. Um, I just came up with you the other day. The voting will take place from 15th to the 31st of January. Mm. So you get two weeks to vote, which is plenty of time to vote. Mm. Um, so I think we have about 10 people on the nomination committee, each around 10 each. Mm. And I'm just putting together the final people for the 8-bit uh, committees. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Needs more maple leaves. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'd like to announce again, once again, that I am not on the nomination <laughs> committee. Is that something you'd like to be on the yeah, nomination Detroit. committee? <laughs> <laughs> um, sprites should be able to wrap around the side of the screen to get away from the. That's not realistic. Wrapping around the screen, that'd be like sure. teleporting. Yes. Or having, being in a round wrapping, like a, a donut shaped room, I guess, would be the equivalent. Yeah, that's like true. Like you'd be running around in a running circle. Around in circles, yeah. That would that would be the way it would be realistic. <laughs> no, I'm very proud of my achievement. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, okay, so super awesome. I really enjoyed that game. <laughs> So cute. Thank you, cute. Leandro, so much. Very fun. Wow. Yeah, thank you so much. So, Leandro. so, so cute. Yeah. And the sprites Adorable. are beautiful. They, they are. Look so good. They captured the cats like yeah. super well. Yeah. Like just let's take another look at them. Look at those kitties. And 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 Pixel's running around there. Look at that face. <laughs> it's a pixel face. <laughs> Actually, what did he do there? Because he's got two two colors on the same line for pixel um and he's got a one pixel and then three and then a single pixel for the for the side of the face and the tail so he's used some clever clever tricks clever in here tricks, yeah. to get 
both cats so cute. and two colors on oh, yeah. pixel yeah so he used um the ball or something to color oh, in some yeah. other color in his face and given the uh player character um priority mm -hmm. over the ball yeah that's how i would do it if i saw that <laughs> Of all the of all the things you haven't done, this, this is the, the one you're most proud of, yeah. <laughs> of not being on the nominated committee. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're going to move on to the next game, which is uh, Breaking Bad Balloon, and that's with spelled spelt with a Q. Okay. You're going to get wine. Yes, I am. But okay. I do want. Do you want to start playing first, and then I'll grab it, or um, do you want to yeah. intro it, and then I'll run out when you you can start. Yeah. Playing. Yeah. yeah. I don't we'll want do to that. run out in the middle of. of I don't want to leave dead air. So. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this is Breaking Bad Balloon, uh, 2020 work in progress by Stupid Bunny. First posted November 15th. Uh, this build is November 18th. I did not update that because he put one up today. Oh. Um, I just didn't update my notes. So this is a brand new version. Um, he alerted me to that he put up a new version. It's a 4K game. It's his first game he's ever made. Mm -hmm. Which is always great to see new That's developers. That's very cool. Yeah, someone games. trying out a new platform or system of... Yeah. Of developing i don't know if he's made games for other systems but he said uh hi y'all this is a project that as the changelog shows has been sitting in my work queue for a very long time and like most projects i do uh has seen flurries of activity interspersed with long stretches of working on other things in my life i conceived this to be something very simple with what uh what with it being my first atari project and all and indeed the first computer game of any sort that I've programmed from scratch and seen through to completion. So it is his first video game. Mm. The gameplay is similar to, I guess, the dinosaur, ga dinosaur game in Chrome. Have you ever played that? Mm -mm. When you don't have an internet connection, it goes to this little dinosaur. Oh! That runs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you hop over cactus. I think I've seen that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Complete with very primitive cacti. Although there's a broader <laughs> array of enemies and somewhat varied behaviors that come to you, mm. come at you. I don't envision the game to expand into much more than that. Mm. Because it's my first serious game program pro project of any sorts, I'm completely sure it's full of inefficiencies and tons of clumsy, ugly, messy bits yeah. that could be implemented a lot better. But at least it's playable in the state, and I wanted to put out here for you folks to look over and offer some review and su suggestions. Mm. So let's boot it up. Oh, I already have it on that screen. Oh, you guys were looking at a... Oh, the cats. That's right. I already switched the graphic. Okay. Yeah. Looking forward, uh, some things I'd like to fix. Yeah, that one. Oh, sorry. Click the button twice. There you go. Ooh, Colorful. Ooh, pretty. Scrolling colors, which yes. the Atari is very good at. Very Tons nice. of colors. And B, B, B. Nice. Breaking Bad Blue. Nope, you can't start it. <laughs> Um, so it, very simple. I don't have the instructions here what to do, but there is jump. Okay. With up, I believe. Or is it the button? Uh, left and right. Mm -hmm. Um, oh no. Jump is a button. Up is a high jump. Nothing is normal jump. Low is a low jump. So you can do nothing and just press and jump. And oh, be a normal I see. Medium jump. And then high and then low. Okay. Yeah. And left and right is move left and right. And you can move in midair as well. But okay. you'll get very used to it. Okay. Uh, let's set all the things back to nominal. There's your jumpy jump. Oh. And button to... <laughs> My goodness. Yeah, you'll get more used to it as time goes on. <laughs> so there are seagulls. Cute. There are oh. little fire demons that look like they're uh, out of um, Daryl Spice Jr.'s. Um, oh, Daryl Spice Jr.'s. Oh. Um, frosty. Stay frosty. Oh, There's very nice mountains and clouds up above. Very very nice. And the animation on the seagull is oh. really excellent. Yeah. And there's little demons that run along the ground as well, so you got to watch out for them. And the fire is flickery. It's really cool. Yeah. Oh. And there's also things that come out of the ground on level two. Oh, really? They go up and down. You have to get over them before they go up. Oh, now you're on level oh, two. Yeah, barely. Oh, the color changes. 
It's all purple, like Satan's Hollow. Nice. Like the well, black Satan's Hollow eventually. No, it eventually, but it goes purple oh. first. Yeah, I'm a little. So you can slow down and speed up. Yes, on it, the ground. You, you said left and right as left oh, and right. Oh, sorry. But slow it's down, actually speed up. it's actually a slow down. And yeah, you're not speed actually move. You're always moving like a bouncy balloon. Better, get better already. Oh, not far enough. I'll give you a hint. I always jump high. Well, unless because, because you never know what. Unless there's a, a seagull. Unless there's something. Oh, see, I didn't really push up. Okay, I'm gonna get some wine. Okay. <laughs> and I will play and read out the rest it when is you come back. Super cute. Super sort of cute. like Flappy Bird. Yeah. Well, the bird is. So let's take a look. Oh, oh, unfortunately, it starts immediately. So I'm at a slight disadvantage here. And the controls are very flexible in terms of movement. So you get a lot of control over your jumping. So really great that way. So you can uh, incorporate a lot of different techniques um, depending on how you like to play. Oh god damn it. You do get extra men. I'm not sure at what point you get extra men but I did get an extra one there. Ah, almost made it over. Well, that was very quick. Good. Ah! Oh, you can get them over. If you, oh my god. Ah! Carl Chi says, uh, it seems like things often come along too quickly to have any reasonable chance of reacting to them. It is definitely, some things are really fast, Damn but it. you can slow down midair, so you have to kind of get used to that yeah. mechanic, but. Can you reset? It's it's very difficult to reset. And um, go. Can you oh, reset? Yeah, sorry, Thank I, you. I didn't realize you were asking me. <laughs> well, the cat wasn't helping. So no, no, but when I'd you said you. that, I was like, what are you in ref what is that in reference to? Can you reset? Nice. Yeah, the controls oh. are so flexible. So good. Great defender saying the game volume is low, but actually there's oh. not a lot of volume uh, on our end either. It's okay, keep playing it's your game. Medium, there's not a lot of, of... There's some. There's a little bit. We're actually not hearing much volume from the game either. No, but it's nice to be yeah. able to hear it. Yeah. Who made this one? Cafe Man 2D says. Oh, sorry. Did I not read that? Yeah, out? you did. You did. Yeah. I'll um, can't really read it out right now. Those guys are yeah. hard if you don't jump them immediately. Yes. Or ah, because you you keep you have moving to slow forward. way down yeah. if you want to get it past them. And if you don't, if you don't accidentally. Nice. Oh, it's black. It is Satan's Hollow. It's getting darker outside. Oh my god. Damn it! Five lives. Mm. Oh my god. Did anybody notice when I got the first extra life? Was that 50? Mm. I think it's before that. Mm. Damn it! Oh my god, he mirrors you. Ooh. I don't know his pattern that's yet. Sky. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. nice. Oh, another jumpy dude. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, that's so cool. Good animation on that. Mm. Oh, you barely see that jumpy guy. It's yeah. Really nice. Nice score. 128 so far. Oh, that's cool. Really good animation mm -hmm. on that dude. Ah, damn it. 135. Nice. I like yeah. this, actually. Yeah. He it does ends need a button. on the score. He now does need a button reset. Yes. Yeah. Because it starts immediately. Well, you could, yeah, because um, if you could button reset out of the screen and yeah. start over, that would be good. That'd be good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but you have to make sure. Stupid bunny. You have a two second pause on mm. this screen before you're allowed to reset. Mm -hmm. So you don't go blip yeah. and your score is gone. Jumpy dude, jumpy guy. <laughs> <laughs> His technical turns over my head. <laughs> yep. Ready? Mm hmm. 135, that is definitely the first I've ever been. There might even be more stuff to see after that, because 
So this game is made by Stupid Bunny. Quite a name. Um, and it was just posted like five days ago. And this is the brand new update he posted today. Oh. Always jump high. I know. I know. No. Oh, too I'm close. High. Um, so some things he'd like to fix are get rid of the line under the purple worm's oh. neck when it goes back into the ground. Ditto with the fu uh, funny pixels uh, appearing above the eye. Sometimes when there are two munchers on screen, they both disappear at the same time when the first one runs off. I think he's fixed that because I saw... Uh. Oh, maybe they did. Oh, I see. Because when the first one runs off the screen, he's doing a double. And so he's removing the first one. So he has to do a bit of programming for that. Um, as things I may want to implement next in rough order of priority, some kind of score system and counter. He's got a score system. This must be an old list. Um, add fidelity to the cacti, maybe the zigzag a bit, or some branches to them. So it's got just the green stick right now. So those are cactuses. Oh, is that what they or are? The cacti. Yeah. The cacti. There you go. Oh, yeah, I was going to turn up the volume for you guys. It's a little low, yeah. Play around half. Maxing at half is loud enough. Um, it might be a bit tough to get more graphics on the cactuses. Because right now he's using, you know... See, I keep thinking I'm going high, but I'm hitting to the side, so I'm not actually jumping high. Oh. So... There you go. Well... That's nice and high. But then I'm not going back and forth. I don't know. You have to hold up and then just move back and forth on the up. That's what I do. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> that guy's tough. Those guys are hard. One of the toughest, I find. Ooh. Right Oops. down to him. That would have been good for a medium jump. I know, yeah. <laughs> okay, try that again. Um, some kind of title graphic, which he does mm -hmm. have now. Probably just BBB with the letters alternating, bubbling up and down. Oh, come um, on. Possibility for more than one enemy on the screen at the same time, which he has implemented a bit, but it's just the same enemy on the screen. Alternatively, use the ball object for some simple rock wall obstacles and add actual sprites for cactus or alien plants, what have you. Items, power up, score objects. And that doesn't help at all, does it? I'll reset for Thank you. Thank you. You could have waited until I was oh, ready. <laughs> not sure ready. Nope. Ready? Yeah, go ahead. Stupid bunny here? I don't see stupid bunny. It says, no, he said, he gave the name there. Hi, stupid bunny Vitoko here. Oh. I don't see stupid bunny, though. Oh, maybe not. Maybe he's just saying, huh? This is by stupid bunny. Yeah. Jumpy dude, jumpy guy. Oh. Kind of like a Pogo Man on Atari 800. Pogo Man. Oh, I haven't seen Pogo Man. Because he is a constantly bouncing dude. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, good job. Not fast. Um, so the latest update, he has some flashing letters on the screen, new animations for Muncher. I'm, uh, I'm not sure which one, what's one is Muncher. The, that guy? <laughs> Maybe. He's got bobbly eyes. You can stay down. All right. Hold on. Let me sit. Go. Um, most of fun of all, you can hold down while in the air and the player goes down faster, offering a little bit more jump control. There's an occasional glitch with this that I'm trying to iron out, but it doesn't seem to affect gameplay at all. See, I'm not sure when you would need to go down faster yet, but I'm sure it's good in some occasions. Maybe when an enemy's coming up and you don't want to be in the air while you're moving. Um, oh, too close. Oh, I think it was at 40 of your ah. life. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, see, I, it's the up. I'm not always hitting up when I'm hitting the up. But it is very cool. Reset, please. Lightning? I, find it, oh. I would probably 
re over. Oh, I can't read that. Um, I would probably remove the yellow screen flash. Not sure oh. what it's supposed to be. Lightning. Just find a distraction. Oh, every it time is. you jump. Something. Every time you jump, it does. Yeah, I see yeah. what you're saying. That might be an idea. It's every time a baddie goes off the screen. Yeah. It, it flashes. It's every time you get a point. No, is it? Yeah. Oh, but you get a point for every baddie that goes off the screen, I guess. Nope. No. Nope. Oh, actually, it's every baddie. Yeah, it's not even not every point. Yeah, it's not every Need point. Watch my lives and tell me when I get an extra one. A little running guy reminds me of Wizard of War enemies a bit. When you get an extra life? Oh, it's, it's at the top. Now. Oh, sorry. Okay. It's okay. Watch this time. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. can't. Yes, please add a reset. Mm -hmm. It's around 35 to 40. Oh my god, that guy came out of nowhere. Mm. He does look like a Wizard of War guy. Yeah. I agree. Whoa. Ah! He doesn't come on up from the complete right hand side sometimes. He starts like in the middle sometimes. He moves really fast. Hey, watch fast. my score. Not the score, watch my lives. And then look down and see. Yeah, he's just got a new life. What was that? 40, 41 somewhere. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I was looking at your lives. And I looked down and you you gotten two points really quick. It said 42, but I think you got it at 41. Yeah, it's nice. Reminds me of the old Kool-Aid Man commercials. A guy in a big glass pitcher of Kool-Aid costume <laughs> would smash through a brick wall saying, Kool-Aid, oh yeah. Yep. Oh, that's good. That guy's, that guy's hard. He's all over the place. He is. Ah. Th these guys, these like ocean worms coming out of the ground. Ooh. Ah. I like the fire in the horizon there. It's very cool. That's a good... Oh. Yep. Challenging. That guy. Oof. There's a big white cacti. <laughs> Ooh. No! 131. Mm. Okay. Reset, please. It's kind of dusk with the red. Yeah. Right? And then it becomes night. And Damn more. it! It reminds me of, um, was it Night Guy VHZC's game? The, 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 the scrolling one that goes from left to right. Is it VHZC? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I haven't played that one in a long time. Um, yeah. What's it called? Is that a Night Guy title too? No. <laughs> no. Yeah, where he's ducking and jumping yes, and it reminds me of that a little bit. I mean it's it's the same style of game where you're just endlessly running to from left to right, so Oh, oh that guy. Oh he's bad. You can't you have to move at the last second. You can't continue at the same level you're at. Mm -hmm. Damn it. Mm. Like you can't easily jump over him. One more reset. You wanna play again? Uh no, you're doing better than me, okay. so I like seeing what, what comes up. Further on, uh, okay. so um, it is fun though. Ah! Fun and challenging. Wasting lives so early. <laughs> That's a really good game because mm. it's so challenging. Because it's random. You don't mm -hmm. you don't know what's coming up. Purple. Even the characters are random, like where they are on the screen. Oof. Ah! Cause if you speed into that guy, see, you're, you're doomed. Either jump over him or you mm. wait, 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 wait as hard as you can, mm -hmm. as long as you can. 
Uh, one more. One more. Yeah. One more. This is Bunny. Mm -hmm. Oh God! Damn it! <laughs> Those fire dudes are just funny. They just hang they don't, out. They don't do much. They just hang out. They're like, yeah. They've got a big spike in their head, though. Which is kind of a weird spiky thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So just really missed close. that guy. I accidentally jumped over him. I mean, I don't mind the flash because it's kind of exciting. Like, oh my god, things are happening. Well, it's telling you you just got a point, I suppose. God, you, no. I mean, you got a, you do get a point. Yeah. But it, it's more like you passed a dude. be a better tactic is to hang back mm. every time because you can Just dodge those guys a little bit you can easier. also dodge these guys easier if you if you hang back and wait yep. and see what pops up yeah because then you can you can jump time over. yourself a little ah leapers leapers there's a game called leapers is there <laughs> yeah and they kind of jump like that and kind of look like that Oh my god, that's not good for leapers, though. <laughs> okay, I want to do it again because now I've got a new tactic for that level. This level's just like, just go for it. Oh, wasting lives! <laughs> Pogo Man. Pogo Man. I really, really like games where you have really good control over the character. Yeah. This is definitely one of them. So you can pretty much precisely move him at every single point when you're landing oh. and when you're moving. But mm. I mean, that doesn't guarantee you you're going to survive, but. Yeah, you have to go slow with both those. That guy? Oh my god. That was close. Ooh. Oof. Because they go to your level, but you have to go at the last second to get when, over When them. you get really close to them. Ah, Ooh. damn it. Because they can't move as fast as you. Mm. Flackets is saying this is hard in an emulator without a joystick. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's challenging. Oh, those guys just have a pattern. The jumpy guys. Yeah. Well, they go bounce, ah! little bounce, little bounce, big bounce, right? Yeah. One more. <laughs> oh, I could have done that. Sorry. Earthbound Cuberts, kind of. Yeah, I do yeah. like his bounciness. I like the guy's crown, the dude's crown on his head. Is that his spiky hair or is it a crown, you It think? looks like a crown to me. Yeah. I got extra life at around 30 this time. Good noises in this, good good sound in this game. Mm -hmm. Very simple. Yep. Oh. That's fa unfair. That was challenging because of the placement of the cactus. Yep. Oof. Same with that one. Damn it. Chunky cactuses now. 
Ah. Yeah. 132, not bad. Has an amoeba jump quality of just one more game. Yeah. Due to the spot on control. When you die, you feel like it was your fault that it's you weren't cheated. Always right? your fault. It's always your fault. In this game. <laughs> well, the cactus coordinating with that guy that goes up mm. to your level, mm. that can be like, uh, what do I do? Because mm. you have to jump over the cactus, but the guy's going to be there. So that's the one situation where it's like, no, it's not really your fault. Yeah. Oh my God, what a good game. Mm. Wow, I'm going to be watching this game as it progresses. Um, I highly very, recommend very fun. Yeah. people download this game. Yeah. Yeah, it's super, super fun. If you like platformers like I do or games like this, it's this is uh, a really good one. Okay. Um, so we're going to move on to game number three, which is an exclusive two-player game called Berserk Soccer. Oh, look at this cuteness. So cute. Mm -hmm. Atari. So you want to load that up? It's funny. Yeah. Uh, this is by Tom from Berlin. That's like his name. That's what I'm dubbing Tom him. He is not in the Atari Age forums. Um, actually, before... Mm -hmm. Oh, you okay? Ears, ears. Before we do that, I'm going to show you, he's been, where this game came from is actually, he, Bunny's playing? Yeah. He made his own Batari Basic kernel, mm. which is like a framework that you can plug things into. Mm. Um, that's already pre-made for you, okay. uh, for Batari Basic. Okay. So he's made his own kernel okay. that he's made this game from. Okay. Um, so we're going to take a look at his kernel first and just go over uh, what is in it um, so that people can see who uh, who used Batari Basic. And uh, so it doesn't have, a, doesn't have a name, it's just a kernel. <clears throat> so let me load that up. Just one second. You can hold with me. Okay, here we go. Uh, stop. Boom. So here's his kernel. No, this is the soccer game. Go back one. It's an older version of the soccer game. Because he kind of merged the kernel into his soccer game. Uh, I think this might be it. Yes, that's more like a kernel looking. So he's kind of made an example. Um, you can move the dude around here. Mm -hmm. um, there's some enemies on that line. There's some little castles at the bottom. Mm -hmm. There's a big, huge guy going across the top. There's an enemy there. You can shoot. Um, thing also stops. There's like a scrolling play field as well. I think this is the newest version of it. Let's just see. Might be a newer one here. No, that's the newest one that I showed you. Um, so, features of the kernel, two multicolored sprites, player zero and player one, uh, flicker-free top and bottom sprites, so you can see the castle and the thing in the top, uh, play field could have, can have three resolutions, two line, four line, and eight line, uh, new size zero uh, plus one and all sprites, independently, copy of sprites, scaling of sprites, so you can have, uh, two copies or wide. Uh, Playfield Zero um, is back, you, so you can use Playfield Zero, which is the left and the right hand side, um, if it's mirrored, which it looks like it is. So those are the right and left most um, playfields that are scrolling up the screen. Um, I always hated it that you can see the difference to assembler coded games because play, play, Playfield Zero is always missing. Uh, vertical scrolling on the playfield is smooth and possible. 
Missile Zero and Ball can have any height and is interchangeable during the runtime of the game. Missile One is going gone because of timing issues. Multicolored Playfield is in, but you lose the multi sprite capabilities on Player One. If you need only two sprites in whole, you can flick off the flicker engine. Uh, switch off the flicker engine simply with a constant variable. Flicker free equals zero one. Far left and right edges of the playfield can be visited by the players without tearing, which uh, you can see. Oh, not focused on it. Which you can see here. Looks good. No tearing. No weird. Because sometimes you see games mm. where you move the guy and at a certain height it goes bleh. Mm. Like a little warpy one pixel. Um, you have a score counter, a two-player score, a racing timer, and two live bars which within the kernel itself. No mini kernel stuff. Easy to use. And you can choose the different features through a constant variable out of Batari. So you can see the scores at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Those are built into it. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I always wanted to stay within 4K, which is... This is 4K. You can see there. I'll just leave that on. Uh, uh, but bank switching will work also, but not tested. Mm -hmm. Games with more than 4K has uh, doesn't have the classic charm from early days combat. With a little bit of effort, I will change managed to change the kernel to a one-line kernel, playfield and sprite. So he's looking for, to do even better resolution than what this has. Because this is two, everything is drawn with two lines. Mm. Because that gives you more time to change colors, change the graphics on characters and things. Okay. Um, if the community out there likes my Berserk soccer game, I will send over a Christmas holiday edition in December. Santa hats, maybe on the Berserk guys. Nice. Uh, really soon. Some, <laughs> yeah, some snowy environments and a Christmas tree with nice. funny looking Berserk robots. <laughs> nice. First, I wanted to implement a scrolling football field, but at last I cancelled. Same as the original title, Championship Soccer. Mm. Have a nice day. Greetings to Canada. Um, I've encouraged him to join the Atari Age forum, which yeah. he has not yet. Yeah. No. Uh, I, I constantly say, join the forum. Please share this work with, with people. everyone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and they can help you because he mm. keeps asking me for advice and things is like, I, like I don't, i'm not a developer <laughs> i'm not a developer i don't use I atari basic the games if, yeah <laughs> like i'm developing my game in uh assembly so i'm yeah I've, i'm not using atari basic mm. at gotcha. all gotcha yeah 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 um so he wrote back people who like my custom batari kernel can write an email to me for now um his email is darth bane d-a-r-t-h-b-a-n-e okay. at 1972 no sorry Darth Bane 1972 at gmail.com. Mm. So I will uh, write that in the chat right now. Darth Bane 1972 at gmail.com. Double check. Yep. And he will send it over with his demo source code. Uh, he's not on the Atari H forum, but he says, I will, soon I will be on there. So he'll be on there soon. <laughs> So let's uh, get into the game. Excellent. And we'll play some Berserk Soccer. There you go. So hopefully some developers out there. Yep, load it up. Um, use Batari Basic. And hopefully that made some sense to you. So I am red. You are uh, purple. We both are wearing... Uh, yellow shorts so i guess we're from different planets or different manufacturers because usually when you're playing uh soccer the other team has different shorts and shirts <laughs> colors but in this the robots are completely different colors so he's used his kernel to make this game player with the most goals wins after three minutes or the player who first oh. scores nine goals oh okay the goals will shut from time to time, then the ball resets to the middle playfield position. If the player hits the goals or the laser beam, position will be re reset to, you lose the good ball position. Uh, only 55 bytes of the ROM is left. Animation of the Berserk robots eat a lot of ROM space. Uh, the, the ball has the same color as the playfield, so it could hide in the ta castle mm -hmm. towers. So if you hit the ball in there, make sure you know where it is. Uh, the ball stops when hitting the other player. It's very hard to be a football player and a goalkeeper in one person. <laughs> I transfer the setting of Berserk in a mid-age scenario. Oh, so like the castles. The Middle Ages. Mm. Uh, play it with a joystick, not a gamepad. 
That's an order. <laughs> Don't play with game pads. He likes joysticks, apparently. Greetings, Tom from Berlin. So you've got a good uh, lead on me right now. Well, I'm just I'm just trying to play with the. Uh, so play the, with the UFO ah. brings ah. brings the ball back in, which is really cool. Nope, I guess I got that. Because usually in oh, uh huh, ah. reset. Very nice. Oh. What just? Oh, it, the laser got it. Yeah, something got it. It's funny when when. Ah. Uh, ah. Oh, it go. It resets if you hit the the wall. Yeah, that's kind of cool. It ah. Locks it and resets it at the same time. Yeah. Ah. So I'm red. Tanya's. Ah. Blue purple. Oh, it's almost to nine points. Ah. Oh. Eight to seven. Ah. Oh. Oh, you, I think eight you, and eight. I think it's tied. You, I think you kind of block it. Ah, you got it. Oh! Crown the king of the lands. <laughs> nice. Standing on the podium. <laughs> really cool. Nice. So this is kind of a demo for his kernel to show what can be made with it. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's very neat. Have to, yeah, what I'm finding is I was trying to play with it shooting on an angle. Right. Because you end up just confronting sideways. Yes. Um, so, yeah. Like, hey, don't. Well, no, no, no. I, I'm trying to hit it on an angle. There we go. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm actually not trying to okay. get it in. I'm trying to figure out how the angle... Oh, okay. That. <laughs> no, no, that worked. You try. Here. Oh. Try to hit it in one of the castles. Oh. Because... Funny, eh? Oh, so you did you pick it up? No. Like you're hitting it, or? I was hitting it. Just happened to move with me, maybe. Oh, interesting. If you hold the button, you kind of continually hit it. Oh, you do. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's kind of handy, actually. And I just like knocked it in my own goal. So go for it. <laughs> go figure. Oh, did it reset? Cause I hit the laser. No, it resets when you hit hit it against a green wall. Uh, the oh, gray look. wall. When yeah. you hit the gray wall, you reset too. Boom, 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 boom. Ah! Oh, see, I've got to yeah, just hold it. Holding the button down is really good idea. See that? Oh. <laughs> ah. 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 And it though. seems to kick it at a variety of distances you never know how long it's yeah, going to it's kick kind it for. of it's kind of seems random doesn't it which the is, distance sometimes it goes really far and sometimes it doesn't go far at all yeah which is fine because i don't know how you would specify i guess you could hold down the button for different lengths of mm. kicks i don't know who has priority when we both run at it That's and hold down question. the button yep has potential. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. So let's both hold. Wait, wait, wait. Go back. Go back, go back, go back. Go okay. right to the wall. Okay, we're both reset. Hold mm -hmm. down your button. And on go. Okay. Three, two, one, go. I think you were. I don't know. I think I was just got there first. Oh. It's hard to say. It's going to be hard to go be exactly at the same time. Yeah, hold it, hold it, yeah. You. You again. Really? You again. Wow. Yeah. I have the advantage. I don't know why I'm losing so much. <laughs> I mean, if, if you hit the wall. Hold on it. Yeah, it's always you. Interesting. So it prioritizes, um, one. Pl it checks one player first. You're holding so, the button the whole time, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So definitely in games, you don't... You, you, you want, want to make to sure that's random. fair. Yeah. Because if you're always checking one player over mm -hmm. the other, um, like in your if statements or whatever you're doing, yeah. uh, if player one has button down and touches, mm -hmm. they get it. It's always going to be player one has the advantage, which is not really what you want. Unless you do want that. But you want that to be programmable, like on a, a toggle switch, right? But uh, yeah, it's it's got That's some nice neat. graphics at the bottom. It's got yeah. I don't know what those little pointy things are. I think something but, gets uh, shot from there. Oh, they might be lasers. You, did you did you follow it? That's weird. 
You seem to have this ability to like follow it. Oh, no. I'm blocking it. If you're kicking no, down no, me. no, I get that, but like you, were, you were you were walking it? alongside it. Uh, like, what was that about? It might have been there. Like, oh, up and down, you can do that. So let me let can <gasps> I try. I haven't been up and down. You can hold it. You're holding it. Oh. I think it just doesn't kick it very far. It just it just up and down. Oh, you know what side happens? to side, it it's hitting you, or like constantly hitting you. Oh. And it, you're blocking it while you're kicking it. Oh. It just doesn't do it. It's like caught in you. Yeah, it's caught in oh. you. Oh. That's interesting. Like you can kind of... Yeah, I was expecting a bigger ball and the robots could shoot the ball to make it roll. Oh, shooting it, yeah. Oh, okay. That would be a neat function. That would be a neat way of doing it. Like with a laser. Like if it, yeah. 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 That would be very interesting. I mean, that's a different game, but... Uh... I guess there's expectations. There's no sound in the game, by the way. Yeah, it is quite. It is a, it's a silent soccer game. There's no audience. There's no crowd because of, you know, robots can catch. Yay! Winner! Catch COVID, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What game is this? Doesn't like ber look like Berserk Soccer. <laughs> well, there's a Berserk Robots yeah. and it's soccer. Yeah. Therefore, Berserk, berserk Soccer. Berserk Soccer. So I've put Lovely. the uh, no no babuzalas. <laughs> those that was the most annoying trend that lasted a very short time, thankfully. Well, isn't that like a South African like when they play soccer in South Africa? That's a big thing. I think like, so, and then it caught on worldwide. And then, and then people everyone went, hated it. Stop. Then they banned it. I, they might have banned it. I and then it stopped because yeah. everyone really found it annoying, except yeah. for the person blowing it who yeah. thought they were awesome. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was the worst. Evil Otto. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that would be so cool. If Evil Otto came in and crushed the, the and he, person who lost, and then the person, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bounces down and, and destroys. Oh, that's a good idea. He could add that to the yeah. next one. Evil Otto needs to be the ref. He could be the guy on the top dropping the ball. Nice. Yeah, instead of the UFO. Yeah. And make it really... He's already going in with the Berserk name, so yeah. I might as well go right in on it. Yeah. Yeah. That's very, very cool. Mm -hmm. Something more akin to Rocket League without the cars. That would be... That is a cool idea to, to make them shoot the, the lasers. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, if you want to get in touch with him about uh, his game engine, Atari Basic Game Engine, mm. not game engine, but display engine, mm. uh, kernel, um, it's uh, DarthBain1972 at gmail.com and hopefully he will join the Atari Age forums because he definitely needs to get in there, especially yeah. with all the work he's put into this. Oh, yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. It looks really, really cool. He yeah. might have been waiting for me to, to show this off on the show and mm -hmm. then he was going to join the Atari Age forums. Yeah. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But very cool. And thank you so much, Tom, for uh, making the cool game. Mm-hmm. Now, and now we're going to go on to the last game of the show. It's Roach in Space 2. Yay! Cosmic Boogaloo. <laughs> and it's a 7800 game. Excellent. So we're going to switch over to... Why is this being blocked? USB on the copies. I need more one. Okay. And since we played it before, I can just jump right into the game. Because basically, the updates are new bosses, new graphics, New enemies, more awesomeness from VHZC, because he is pretty... Oh my god. Why is the display turning off? That is very frightening. Very frightening. Like, I was plugging my USB, and it was like the whole screen was going black. But, uh, so far still, uh, still recording. So let's switch back and get the emulator up and going. Excellent. Soon we won't have to use this emulator ever again. <laughs> Hooray! Ow, That'd be ow. so nice when my S video uh, mod comes in. So I'll get on that immediately so that I'll be prepared for the, when the cartridge comes in. Mm. And then we can show off all the awesome features of the cartridge. Um, so, we are playing 
Roach in space. This one is from the 15th. Yeah, don't play that yet. <laughs> there we go. Roach in space, part two. Cosmic Booga. <laughs> That's very loud. Ah, beta zero one. Uh, so this, I guess everything's in the game now if he's saying it's beta. Because mm -hmm. once you get to beta, it's just bug testing. Mm -hmm. um, beautiful uh, artwork on the title screen. Great colors. He's got shadows and drop shadows. It's gorgeous. So, let's see how far I can get. I know, uh... Roach is so cute. <laughs> it is. Some of the levels I know how to play them. <laughs> well, <laughs> little, do you? You're things. not getting any score because you're just sitting in the score. corner. <laughs> I rarely show care everything. about scores in games. I want to get to the that's final a, boss in that's the game. That's a lie. That's a lie. I, if, I think that's a lie. You do care about scores in games. If it's a game I need to get scores in. <laughs> yeah. You have to. Oh, what is going on? Yeah. You maybe you have hit. to. Yeah, maybe yeah. you do. Maybe you have to get a certain score to move on to the next level. Apparently in this one. He's, uh, he's, he's not letting you, uh, cheese it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, I love, I love Killer the tomatoes. tomatoes. <laughs> With their eyes. Killer and tomatoes from outer space. They have beautiful eyeliner on the eyes. I love oh, it. Oh, they do. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, nice. Is the sound new? Did they have all of these? Oh, he constantly changes the I feel graphics like, and sound I on I feel like games. the sound has been tweaked or something. Oh, he's constantly tweaking. Yeah. Um, that was because I don't remember that, but it could have been there. Yeah, it could have been. Uh, it's so hard to tell because he changes almost everything on every release. Like he tweaks the graphics, he tweaks the order of things. Yeah. Um, so, so far I have not made it to the second boss in this game. Yeah. And that's definitely my minimum goal for tonight. Mm. Level's not over. Sometimes it, there's an extra pause where it's like, oh, I thought the level's over. These are angry, angry. flaming balls oh, of they're red funny. and blue. They're so, so upset. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> and this is definitely a new character. That's so cute. At least I haven't seen them. I'm waiting for the COVID virus to start coming down <laughs> at you. <sighs> it is a very I cool game, yeah. Dan. And Plackett says score is important for James when there are patches. <laughs> when there's patches, yeah. yes. When there's not patches, I am purely level based. I just want to get to the end of the game, to the boss. That was bad. Need to be up the screen some more. Ooh. He's taking his time with that ball now. Mm -hmm. He's catching on to my ways of cheesing his levels. Sounded reminiscent ah. of Millipede when the diagonal bugs came out. Oh. Mm. Ow, oh. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. I want to make I want to beat the first boss at least on my mm. first life. Which I think is very doable. I just have to be a little bit more conservative on the first boss. Oh, do I have to eliminate all these? I think he's tweaked that. Where you can't just Okay. Nice. Flaming. At some point the boss shoots sideways and that's when I there we go. That's when I have to watch out. When he starts shooting sideways? Yeah, when he Is this a boss? This yeah. is a boss. It's the flaming boss. pot of oil. <laughs> Yay, I made it. First Good time job. beating the first boss on a single the first, life. The f oh because yeah. there's like three two or three continues. Oh. Well, that's nice. I like that. Then you get some easy levels. Oh, yeah. oh, I don't have to move over a bit. I think you do actually have to hit things. <laughs> yeah, before it was more time-based, the levels. And you could just sit there and sit on the side and shoot the rocket. <laughs> the one rocket on the side. But now he's like, no, nah, you gotta put in some work. It's like, James is trying to cheat. <laughs> We're not gonna allow that. And that's why you have beta testing. Yeah. <laughs> so you can figure out how people can get past your... your by using tricks. Yeah. 
these these are not easy. I don't want to lose my um Ah damn it! I always lose it. Because you get hit once and you lose your special powers. But I guess it protects you. It's kind of like an extra shield too. So I don't know if you lose um a life or life bar when you get hit, if you have the power up. I doubt you do. I think you just lose your shot. Come on. On this one, I say stay to the left. Yeah. Um, Do you find the left easier? On most things. On the right? Like when those things are crisscrossing. Yeah. If you stay on the left around the top middle, um, you can avoid them by just going mm -hmm. up and down a little bit. Because you don't move very fast in this game. You're a slow bug. Slow cockroach. <laughs> Cucaracha. Cucaracha. And sometimes there's stuff constantly on the left here. I, s I find if you stay like a little bit off the wall, mm. it'll cover the left and right. Oh, this looks. Oh boy. Come yeah, you really have to up. pay attention to everything that's happening on the screen. This one's not bad. You just don't get hit by the right hand one. Yeah. And stay on the left. And stay on the left. Makes sense. Which is it cheating? Yeah. No. Ow. Oh, ouchie, ouchie. This one is not easy. You have to These work. guys are all over the place. Oh, ow, uh, ow, ah, ow, ow. That's okay. You have okay. to watch the bounces on these. Oh, yes, I remember. You have to go after the red one if when the red one comes <gasps> on the screen because he has a wide. Damn it. Do you get? Are there more? There are more in the in like more enemies. Oh my god. Oh. In this uh, level. Yeah, like like every version. every when you pass the boss, are there more enemies on the screen now? Uh, some levels. Oh, oh. See, I haven't perfected how to play this one yet. Yeah, these these these. You know what? You need to move forward and back a little bit more, I think, because you're kind of staying towards the bottom. I bet you have to dodge yeah. them a little bit more. Oh, I'm not going to get very far <laughs> compared to you. <sighs> This is very cute. Oh, you have to wait for the song. <laughs> That's totally... I, I totally it's acceptable. respect that. It's acceptable. Oh, oh. I find holding it down is... Oh, that's what you're doing. Yeah. Because then you can kind of time it up with the shots. The timing. I want. I want more shots. <laughs> How do you get uh, more shots? You don't. You get a more powerful shot, but usually oh. things die with one hit. Wow. Yeah, you really have to dodge in this game. That's your bonus shot. <gasps> ah, yeah, I ah. missed it. Well, it's they're hard. <laughs> and I guess shield as well. I love these Cute tomatoes. tomatoes. <gasps> yeah, these are this anything is that that goes hard. like diagonally is really hard. It is. I think you move up and down faster than you move left and right. So I think your idea might be a good one. Of uh, about dodging the dodging oh, the vertical. Oh my goodness, so bad. If you fry uh, the card, you get double shots like Space Invaders. Don't have a cart version of it yet, so when I get a cart version, I uh, will try to fry it. No, I will not. <laughs> I'll leave that up to the audience to fry their own carts and see if you get double shots. I doubt it, though. Anything that goes diagonally is really challenging. Because they have wi a wide sweep oh. where they cover pretty much the whole screen. Okay. Yep. Fun. Fun game, though. <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You might want to start be able to start the game during the tune. But that's up to you. I had uh, a reminder on my Facebook or whatever yeah. of us going, or no, maybe not on that. Um, Calendar? No, 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 no. I, I realize what it is now. Um, 
memories on Facebook? It, I, I was thinking of memories on Facebook, but us being in stuff. Guadalajara oh, yeah, in for a um, um, uh, film festival. Yeah. Um, actually, it's Uber, because I joined Uber, because we, oh, we don't yes. have it in Canada. I joined Uber well, we didn't. in Mexico. We, didn't have it in we do now, but we didn't yeah. back then. And the funny thing is, oh, you get a better shot. Most things only take one hit, though, so... Yeah, but the shot is wider. Oh. Oh. Anyway, every once in a while, I get Uber advertising in Spanish that I can't read. <laughs> really? And I get it. No, I'm serious. So All funny. the Uber like Uber like notifications are in Spanish for me. Oh, that's and so it funny. always reminds me of being in Guadalajara. <laughs> and and just hearing the la, la cucaracha, it just reminds me of Mexico. Mexico. Um, but I continually get Spanish ads for Uber. Continually. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah. Funny enough, 90% of my spam I get to my email yeah. is in Portuguese. Really? And it's been that way for like 10 years. Really? You know it's Portuguese and not, oh, not yeah, Spanish yeah. or... Oh, okay. yeah, it's Portuguese. That's really funny. Why do you think that is? No idea. Are there a lot of O'Briens in Portugal, like in in uh, Brazil? No, you laugh, but no. there are a lot of different Actually, surnames. This isn't a more powerful shot. These guys still take two. No, but but it it's wider. Be. The shot's wider, so yeah. you hit more. Oh yeah. no no no! That's it's you got more more width. Really? I think that's better. Yeah. Maybe. Anyway. I wonder if you so, get build up your shot. I miss being in Guadalajara. Is all I'm saying. I miss being anywhere. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Um, so we got our closet installed finally mm. after it's beautiful. how many months? <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah. The actual um, cabinetry took a while, so the the walls went up and the carpeting went in, and then we had to wait for the for the cabinetry. Yeah. And that took quite a while. Because you have to get it, you have to finish off the room first. Yeah, and then and get it then measured. Then you have to get it measured. Then you have to order it. And then they were really Double behind. Power up. Ooh. What is that? I don't know. <gasps> is it faster? Oh, it is. <gasps> oh. oh, I lost it. In oh, one no. shot. Oh, no. That's not fair. Oh, at least I didn't die. Ow. Down to one. That's okay. It is, it is faster when you get the double. Mm. Oh, I see the pattern here. Oh, maybe not. Was Threshold ever released on the 7800? This is kind of like that, or Mega Mania? Threshold. I don't know. Threshold. Uh, Mega Mania, I believe, was on the... Oh, 5200. That's that's for sure. I don't think it was on the 7800. Um, Threshold, I am not aware of that game. I guess I should be, because... Get it. Oof, just in time. Oh, you get an extra... Um, oh, health, too. Health. Oh, that is definitely Can worth getting. Can you check? I'm at two right now. Yeah. When I get hit, whether it just... Well, I'm going to get hit here. Whether it goes down to one or it just gets rid of my shot. Because mm. that would be nice if it just goes down to one. I will keep an eye out. Yeah, staying to the left and going up and down is actually much better than staying on the bottom middle and going left and right. Because mm. up and down is faster. For most things. There's some levels where you do not want to be on the left. Because you will die. Definitely improved so it isn't as easy to cheese, yes. Uh, yeah. B barely. <laughs> I can still cheese it most of the time. A little bit. So maybe it's just patterns No, now. it's not, not really cheesing. You're just finding the patterns on the, the cannon, spots to hang out. On yeah. the cannon level, I'm definitely cheesing. Oh, I don't well, need to move at all. No. And on these levels, too. Like, you don't really need to move. You just sit there and fire. Especially this one. I love the angry balls. They're so <laughs> angry. They should have like flaming eyes or. I think I still think they should be COVID viruses. Furrowing brows. Little COVID viruses going yes. down the screen. You should definitely alter <laughs> one of the levels of these balls. Like yeah. keep the balls on one of the levles. But Just then little purple, po purple COVID. Yeah. Pokey, pokey little pokey spiky little, things. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, the closet is. Uh, Amazing. <laughs> if I stay here, does the other one fire always at the? Like sinks? I like it to. It does. Oh, you can stay right here. <laughs> I don't even have to move now. Mm. Wide shot makes cheesing easier. Yeah, a little bit because you have a bit more width, right? Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh, down. I lost it. oh, you didn't lose. 
did you lose health? Nope. Oh, I don't know if I... I don't think you did. You had two and I you still have two. I had two and I still have two. I yeah. don't think I got an So extra. you lose your shot, which is good. So it's almost like extra health as two, well. Two, almost. Oh, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh! oh! Mr. by a pixel. Oh, no. What? Oh, it's the same no. guy again. Is it? Or Maybe did I start over? Maybe it's the same over? guy over. What? No, you didn't start over. That was that was uh, round two. Oh. I think it's the same, isn't it? Just, oh my god. He's harder. Maybe you did start over. Now I'm confused. Oh no! <laughs> oh, his bullets get you harder than an average um, enemy, it seems. Oh no. It no, doesn't. it's just one. Ow! I'm just getting shot. It's off. just hot. Very hot. Flaming oil. Well, that takes a lot of shot. Is that the second I don't know. guy I, I've killed? You're I'm, at 3,400, so I don't know. is that usually the end of the first level? or I'm totally lost now. I am too. <laughs> Could be the wine. Um, <laughs> I am on my third glass. Whoa, third glass. I know. She's celebrating know. the closet. <laughs> I'm celebrating the closet and the fact the week is over because meh, meh. Meh week? Meh. meh. It's meh week. Well, every week's a meh week right now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, nothing too exciting. The one happening. The, the only thing that's happened in 2020 is we have a new closet. <laughs> it's a good thing. And someone made a video game about Zero Page, which oh, is adorable, and there so, are cats, so, you know. I'm so glad the cats that. are in it. That, okay, that there's that. There. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's way better on the side. Yeah. Oh, those dudes. Oh, there's. Uh, it's, it's flies. It's the horizontal. Uh, did the I guy get hit? Who How did I get hit? Oh. I did not get hit. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> Bad hitbox. Yes. Ref. 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 Replay. replay. Instant replay yeah. on that. I want my uh, health back. Oh. Do you want to stay too hot, far, uh, far up the screen because you don't know when it's going to change level? Hmm. A good shooter. Oh my god, you have to hit him twice. They turn into a fireball. No. They're like unhappy balloons <laughs> that are filled with some Explosive flammable ]ness. flammable gas that when you hit them they explode. Yeah, yeah your bullet ignites it. Yeah. Anything? What are you saying? Oh, Captain Classic just says probably dragonflies if the sound is supposed to be similar to millipede. The dragon, like the... The, the dragonflies? Yeah. In, well, it's really not know. dragonflies in I this. I don't know. It could be. Those Time little... to fudge this level. <laughs> don't have to do anything. You just sit there and hold the fire. Will VH said, see? See this? <laughs> and then change <laughs> <Maybe>. the level? <laughs> He'll do oh. it just despite you. Oh, yeah. He should. It, you shouldn't be able to do a level like that. That's too easy. No, oh, they, they bounce, bounce, and then bounce back to the top. And if you're f far enough down, they won't hit you. Oh, good. Yeah, what the hell? Where's the... <gasps> and you lost it. Where's the boss? Where's the second this boss? Is, this is the boss. It's just yeah, the but... same boss over and over. Is there supposed to be a second one? Yeah, there's supposed to be a clown with hands that smack you. That's a third, third boss, and I haven't seen him yet. Maybe you have to defeat him a number of times, or maybe he doesn't have the boss in. That's weird. Maybe he doesn't? But I've seen... I've seen a video of it. Okay, well, I'll play it once more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. After you. Oh, well. Wow. That's really weird. We're not playing... Are we not playing the newest one? <gasps> Oh, we're not. Oh, no. that That's the problem. There we go. Beta point four. Oh. <laughs> We've gotten very good at it. Wrong beta. Yeah. Oh, the exact same time. <gasps> Look, it's different. Oh, we get to show the difference. Oh, it's different. Even the shot's different. Now we can see the stark contrast <laughs> between the two ones. I just dragged over the wrong one. Oh, so James. Terrible. 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 It's complaining about the game when it's actually my fault. That's okay. It's Friday. We have time. 
Love and it. now we'll do a comparison of uh, of the two different versions. <gasps> oh, the tomatoes are coming to kill you. Oh boy. That's like, this is like Mega Mania. Yeah, these tomatoes are much harder. Much harder. Ugh. Oh, squishy squish. Oh boy. Oh, I don't like these guys. VHC, disregard everything I just said. Uh, he's like. He's like shaking his he's fist. He's like. At ah! <laughs> he's watching this on YouTube later and and just angrily messaging me. <laughs> yeah. You what played the, the wrong version. <laughs> it was a bit mysterious why we were looping on the boss. Yeah, you're like, isn't there a different boss? The sides different. Everything. Absolutely, well, everything is different. Ah, ah I don't like down. these guys. Up and down, remember. Not side to side, because they sweep the whole thing. So if you don't shoot them, they will kill you when they sweep. Oh. Ah! Oh, I don't want to die. Maybe it's a good thing oh. VHC always changed the graphics each game. Yeah, that is is a good thing because you can, you can completely tell right recognize and he does put the beta oh, version on the screen these too guys are awful. and that should have been a giveaway but... there's no easy spot to sit with any these. more games after this one or did you miss them all you miss them all so you can rewind suck it back this is the fourth game we're playing uh there are some very very fun surprises um, especially <laughs> the mystery game yes i would definitely re-watch it um either here or youtube if you want to wait a day i like these guys and um, the second uh, game we played, which was Breaking Bad Balloon, excellent controls, incredible controls in that game. Um, so if you like platformers, it's awesome. <laughs> You're not doing constant firing, no? No, because I find sometimes it sometimes it. Then the third game we played Berserk Soccer. We'll uh, see if my trick still works in this one. Oh, it fires twice, so he has changed the firing pattern. But it looks like they still fire at the same spots. They're they're uh, slightly uh, offset from each other, though. Yeah. They were always uh, they were offset a... before. Were they? Yeah. No, no, they were they were always coming in the same patterns, weren't they? Those squiddy guys. Ah, squiddy guys rank. got me. Now, welcome, Mick Muse. Hello. Hello. I do not like these guys. Oh, Some oh, guys. shooties, shooties. New purple dudes. These guys aren't too bad. Only shoot one shot. Ah. They don't even come down and get you. Ah. You're heading right for the shot. I'm not. I'm trying to avoid time. them. I'm trying to shoot them. It's hard to shoot them and not get shot. <laughs> Went to the right into the shot. Is done? No. We got one more. Okay. I think this is your last one. There's four. Let's continue. Uh, three or four. Oh, it's it's really hard to get under them and not get shot. You should definitely continuous fire in this one. Yeah, you never know when so. a stray bullet will accidentally hit one. True. It's a good point. Ah! You're and their dead. stray bullets accidentally hit me. I would concentrate more on the bullets than them. Yeah. And have them in your peripheral. Oh, bonus shot. Go with it. Go with it. Oh. Ah! Oh no, Boss. I got it! I got it! Mm, didn't I? No. No, you didn't. Oh, finally get to see the second boss. Ah! Not, well, unlikely for, for me. There we go. Oh, settle cat. Oh, the cat just sat down on you, though. <sighs> no, you still made it unskippable. Oh, no, oh, you can skip no, it halfway I through. I don't like that. I like that you're forced to listen to <laughs> yeah? La Cucaracha. Yeah, it's nice. Ah. Mm. <laughs> Can't just sit there. Mm. Gotta move over a tiny bit because the rockets vary in where they the position they're in. Oh, damn it. Oh, oh it's so yeah. cute. I love them. They are very cute. Got the eyeliner happening. <laughs> they do. 
So these are kind of like the purple They're exactly guys. like the purple Just guys. Just re-skinned. Yeah. Same kind of These idea. guys drop their bullets very fast. Yes, they do. <laughs> Is it the same speed as... Yeah, I think they're pretty similar. Damn it. Yeah, it's, it's hard to get under them and shoot them. Let's go up here. This is a better position. Mm. Oh, kitty. Oh, big sigh. He makes these sighing. I know, he goes, ah. Uh. He's like, don't make my fun of me. I love the cool sunglasses mm -hmm. on the fiery dudes. It's like the seven up. Um, oh, he hasn't fixed the. My shot goes through the guys. If you watch them? carefully, every once in a while my shot will. No, oh, does it? No. No. It's after you kill him. Oh, well, maybe no, not I think anymore. They're okay. Because it was on an earlier version going through. Going through. No, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, I think it's here. Right there. There we go. Cheese it. You can still cheese it a little. Because <laughs> they fire at the exact same spots every round. Mm. So he may want to make that a bit more random. Mm. Oh, these guys actually drop it slower, their bullets. So this is easier than the first wave, guys. Or the first wave of these kind of guys. Mm. So what you want to do is not Just... go with them. Go yeah, against it's... them. They're hard to hit, though. They are. I, I, I think they're harder to hit than the green ones. I think because they only go halfway down oh. and bounce back up. And yes. the other ones stay on the, screen, on the screen, whereas these go off the screen really quickly. Oh, good job. I need that because it's yeah. boss it's time. Fire cauldron time. Oh, he's shooting wildly now. He's got a wider angle. Ow! Oh, Ow! Oh. <laughs> Ow! <gasps> Damn it! I have to start over on him again. Do you? Yep. Yeah. He starts from scratch, he has full health. That you, you can't tell, but he does. <laughs> oh no, he starts shooting at you a little bit more. Yeah. It's when you it's when you bounce to the left or right. Ow. Oh. Ow. <gasps> no. You have to dodge him. Yeah. There you go. Ah! Oh, it's faster. It's definitely faster. Woof. Yep. Did use it. <gasps> Those are new. <laughs> uh, they were in the last version. They were, but... Um, um, I mean, the one we played last time. Yeah, last time. Not the one we played These today. are Mega Man type things. They look like platforms. Ah, yes. They're like a mix between the Mega Man bullets that come out of the ground and Mega Man platforms. Oh, see, now there are three of these guys. Yeah. This is the one I was talking about. The red one moves horizontally slow, uh, vertically More slower. So you want to get that guy. You want to concentrate on the red guy. Let's move over to my position here. <laughs> What's coming? What's coming? Oh, this. I've got a method for this one. Just move right up to it and then back away from it. Move right up to it, back away. And you'll never. Ah! Too I close. Should, I should do that. Getting too close to it. Sometimes you'll hit it, sometimes you won't, but you won't get hit. Mm -hmm. That's the key. But a lot of these games are about finding patterns. Yes. So is this a bad thing to do? No, I don't Not think really. so. Not really. It's part of the game. Yeah, I, I agree. Is understanding how to defeat the enemies. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, those are really erratic. Yeah. They kind of go down to a point and then <gasps> go straight down. Mm. Yeah. This is usually where I die, where I, when I played it in practice. Oh, really? Yeah. These guys? Yeah. They, they look pretty challenging. They are, because you don't know when they're going to drop, or how many. And they come down fairly fast. So you mostly want to just kind of dodge them. Yeah, and you'll, you'll randomly hit a couple. Yeah. Oh, 
Ugh, sideways, <gasps> speedy guys. <laughs> well, I have made it to here, but... Oh. oh. This, I have never seen. This is new? Yeah. Oh, the, um, I think I'm just going to try and dodge these. Sideways dodging uh, asteroids? Yeah. This is basically the uh, tomato level. But yes, faster. it is, actually. It's the same movement. I love that. But tomatoes. a little bit faster. Yeah. Oh. oh. Damn oh, it! Oh, no, that was good. You want another, you want another turn? Yeah. Yeah. You're getting further, so I want to see more. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely want to see the next boss. Uh, yeah, I want to see the really bosses cool. and I want to see all the all the guys. I know it'll take me... I probably won't get that far, so... Oh, you will. You're getting better. Oh, yeah. It's not, it's not watch, hard. It's a shooter, right? Especially like, if you watch my patterns. Yeah. They'll help a lot. But I want to see what comes after that. Oh, I was distracted. Mm -hmm. I looked over at the chat for a second mm -hmm. and got hit. Tomatoes. Yeah, that other one's much faster. Yeah. This one you can kind of clear out as yeah. they come on the screen. But they are the same. It's the same movement. Yeah. Uh, I can't get that one. Just have to get him on the next go. Oh, he doesn't come back. No, I think you have to get a certain number and then they, then you move on, right? You don't have to get on everything. On some levels, yeah. On some you don't have to get all of them. Some mm. you just go through, go through the level. Like those actually just disappeared halfway through. After a timer. Big sigh from Atari. Oh, Atari cat. Are you doing <laughs> it's a okay rough over life. there? Rough life <laughs> for a pampered cat. Aww. Thinks he's hard done by. Mm, he now, is hard done by. He, he doesn't remember when he was a little kitten out in the wild as a... A, a stray? A stray cat. Out on the streets? Yeah, the oh, rough streets sweet. of Abbotsford. Ah, that's right. <laughs> that's where we got him, right? Yeah. Okay, on the way back from a trip to the interior of BC, we're like, let's check out some cats. Yeah. And we saw him, and they wouldn't let us take him. Uh, right, right away, because right he hadn't away. been neutered yet. Right. And then they had to neuter him, and then we got him. And we had to get a background check, too, right? Or did we know? No, uh, well, I mean, we... Good, uh, yeah, I think they were pretty good. I think he needed to be neutered, so we had to... Yeah. He had to get neutered, and we came back a week later. Which is an hour trip. So two it hours ground close. trip. It wasn't close. Yeah, it's not close to where we were, but... But it um, was worth it. it he was basically... Good jumped into our arms when we walked into the shelter yeah and i i he like literally <laughs> he was up on a ledge and he like jumped on me and i just went well <laughs> he chose us i think he's our cat he basically said i'm coming home with you so he was very cute boss time and then he ate all our food and got really chonky <laughs> and then we put him on a diet and then we put him on a diet and he needs another diet because he keeps eating his brother's foods. So. Yeah, he's been restricted now. He's been uh, he's been very unhappy with us because. Damn it! We put on, out food for Pixel and Atari, and Pixel doesn't never eats all his food, so Atari will eat everything that's remaining. So Pixel eats his food, and then Atari comes over and eats all the food that's left over. Ah. So to prevent the chunkiness, <laughs> we've actually been taking away Damn the food it. Pixel leaves behind. Yeah. And he is not happy. <laughs> no, he is not. He's like, there usually is extra food here. Why is there no extra food? Where's my bonus food? Where's the bonus food? Ah, oh, finally. <laughs> well, it wasn't oh, good. I wasted a life and almost... That's okay. Look at the picture of the cockroach at the bottom. I know, he's, he's unhappy. He's very sad. Yeah. He's like, I'm going to die soon. Get some it's help. like he's all shriveled up and he needs water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway. Ah! That's the story of our kitties. Yes. Or at least one kitty. One chonky kitty. One chonky. Yeah. You're trying to keep him healthy. But he likes to eat everything he possibly can, including HDMI cables, so... It's his favorite. It's his favorite. He's he likes to chew through, chew through three, now. three HDMI cables. Specific ones. <laughs> he, has, he likes the texture, and he usually goes after them for dessert. Yeah. He'll eat He'll eat his breakfast and then start chewing on Damn the it. HDMI cables. Ah! He's a very bad cat. He is. Cute, but bad. And very loving. <gasps> oh. <sighs> this 
my last guy? Maybe. Oh, this. Okay. This one's not bad as long as I don't mess up. I'll just stay back from them enough. You shoot twice, just like just barely when they're mm. off the screen almost. Oh, that was too close. Oh my god, I'm getting too close. Done yet? Mm -hmm. There. Now it's. Oh my god. These guys. And it's two levels of pain and hurt. Pain and hurt. Maybe I'll stay over here. Oof. As long as you can dodge. really stay in one spot, he can you? No. Ow! Ow! Two hits. Ah! Oh. 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 You want to go? No, no, you can play more. Oh, I gotta get to the next level. Next boss. I don't know if he's put in three bosses because he hasn't posted a picture of the third boss. I gotta do is make it through the first boss without losing a life. I know I can. I just have to just dodge just a tiny bit better. Oh, tomatoes. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, did I get all the tomatoes? Got all the tomatoes. Nice. After they've dropped it, they don't drop it again. So if I keep one on this, no, it's too hard. I'll just keep firing. Because if you keep one on the screen and just keep one, so it. Oh my god, what am I doing? Get up here. Um, it's too hard to do. But if you keep one on the screen that has dropped its bomb and just fire on the one that keeps coming in with a bomb, you don't have to deal with two bombs at the same time. But I'd rather just hold down the fire button and continue destroying it. Get in the right position, you can kind of cover the space of one and a half guys, hmm. which will get any guy on the left. Time to shoot the left one and just above the right one. <laughs> this is back at level one, right? Yeah. These guys are actually very different than they the are. first round because yeah. these go on and off the screen. Yes, the other they do. ones don't leave. No, they don't leave. Yeah. So they're easier to hit, I think. <gasps> that, I always get hit by that one. Because um, he, he angles it as you bounce off directly in yeah. your direction. It's quite uh, challenging. Oh my god, I actually made it through. Good job. With Full life. Yeah. Foolish life. No, pretty full. I did pretty get hit full. like once. Oh, well, these dudes. I wonder if I stay up. Well, you, you probably still have to hit them though. Stay way up. You probably aren't going to pass the level until you hit enough. Uh, maybe. Depends on what criteria the level has. <coughs> oh, excuse me. It's a little bit better staying Sorry, up, kitty. actually. Because they kind of... <gasps> Kind of aim for you. Mm-hmm. They kind of Come dodge <sighs> over to you, you know, your direction. Oh, these guys are so hard, especially when they're bouncing at all different angles. 
Well, two different angles. Okay, one more. There we go. What's next? Oh, okay, this. A little break. It's nice he throws these in once in a while. Uh, yeah. The ones that come straight <laughs> down. Yeah, and just need to be shot. What is this? Oh, okay. Another little break. And I think there's two horrendous levels after this. Yes. <clears throat> Things are zipping around the screen. But I've been able to save my lives. So I have a chance to make it to the second boss. Because mm -hmm. that's all I really wanted to do in this stream. To make sure I would make it to the second one. The, it looks really cool from the graphics he's posted. Okay, these are nightmarish. What if I stay up a bit more? Because it's really when they head down really fast is when it's hard to dodge them. So if I stay up here and just shoot any that are kind of near me. <clears throat> it's kind of been a, a decent tactic on any of these kind of levels mm. so far. It's not infallible, but it's kept me mostly out of trouble. First continue. That's good. Very, very good. Of course, it resets any VH level you're on. says should disable auto-fire. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, no, no, no. the no. auto-fire is needed, That's I painful. think. painful. Yeah. That would be... Oh, that God. would be an advanced level. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can make it an option. <laughs> But oh. you gotta stay away from those dudes. God, I've got one. one I don't left. Yeah. Do I have to f kill a certain amount? I bet you do. Oh my god! I bet you do. I bet you do. Yeah. So. I don't know. You want to hit as many as you possibly can. I'll stay down just a while bit protecting more. yourself, right? Damn it! Damn it! <gasps> oh my god! It's so hard this level. What? That guy zoomed over. Oh! Try not to continue. Last one, I think. Should say how many continues you have left. There. Like a little number beside. So you know. <gasps> Damn it! Damn it! I don't think staying against the wall necessarily helps you because you can't dodge. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe you're right. Like, you want to be able to dodge them quickly. Like, you don't want to be cornered. Oh, these guys are even worse. Yeah. Because they're coming at this to the sides. So yeah, so you're not shooting straight ahead of you. Oh, yeah, I did make it to this. <gasps> oh. Ah! <laughs> at least for me. You want you want to make it harder for me? <laughs> That's crazy. One more. Okay, one more. Where's the pixel? I'm gonna find the pixel. Yeah, he wasn't down for his game. I know! Pixel He's like the boss in the game. I know! He was the boss. Ow! God damn it. well. This one is definitely the number of guys you shoot. VH ZC's graphics, oh my god, are so good. And the, his, I mean in all of his games, the graphics are so good and the variety that he is able to put into his levels yep. is unbelievable. Like every single level is either vastly different mm. or different enough that you have to do something a little bit different to be able to pass it. Like you have, you have to memorize, oh come on, the tactic for each level to make sure you pass it. Ooh, I could sure see a power up here that would be a three shot spread. 
straight Ooh, yes, ahead in please. 45 degrees. That should be the oh. second level power up. It should. Yeah, it should. that would be really good. That would be really, really yeah. good. Hey, Mark Space. Mm. Welcome to the show. Mm -hmm. That certainly make it a lot easier. Right now, it is painful. Painful. Well, let's say it's challenging. Which is good, because it has a lot of replay value. Um, it's not, like, boring getting to, like, trying to get back to the level that you made it to before. Because... Mm -hmm. Every level keeps you on your toes. Oh, come on. I went right into that. I was so dumb. Getting better at that first boss. Thank God. <sighs> Don't have to waste a bunch of lives on it. Ugh, this. What did I do? I I stayed. Stayed to the left here. Top and to the left. Ah! 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 Save a good dodge. Maybe not so far. Oof! 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 At least they only take one hit. Ow! Oh, that was stupid. Maybe if I stay here and then move to the left. Okay. <gasps> First death. Not too bad. Oh, maybe the second button is used. I totally forgot about that. Is it? Yeah. Is it? I don't know. Because there's there's like power-ups there. Power I will use it on one of the hard levels I can't get past in a bit. See the mm. little balls on the right-hand yeah, side? Yeah, but that shows the shot you have. It goes down when you get hit. You might be able to use it as a, a bomb or something. Oh, maybe the second one. Yeah. Right, the first one is the better shot. That would make sense. Thank you for the hint. Mm hmm. I didn't even think about that. Yep. I always forget the 7800 as a second button. Which is a definite improvement. So you do need two buttons. Two buttons is really, really handy. Unless you're really clever at um, your control scheme. Hi! You gonna help me by hindering me? He Hi. is. Oh, That's sniffing. what he likes to do. He's so cute. Hi. He was so cuddly today. I was yeah. sending photos. Yeah, to me at work. Oh, he's licking my hand. Hi. Typing away at work, and he's sending me photos of a fluffy cat. So. Okay. Oh, nothing was on the screen, and I used it. It was a bomb. Was it? It went boom, and there was nothing on the screen. Oh, nice. <laughs> but it's there. Good to know. Good to know. Can't use it against the the. Uh, bosses then I'm guessing. Oh sure. Yeah yeah yeah. Maybe? For sure. Yeah. Mm. If I make it there. And I have one. Yeah. Usually they give you get me one. You get one right before. Yeah. So you should try that. Ow! Oh. Ow! Oh, these guys are so rough. Need to clear a path. Have you had any continues yet? Uh one. So I'm not doing too badly. Oh, oh it's rough on. though. It is rough. Ooh. Second continue. Kind of freaks you out because it takes a while. The second continue to <laughs> to kick in for some reason. It's like, uh, did it freeze? As long as you get rid of like two or three each wave, it, mm. you have enough of a path to get through. <laughs> oh, hallelujah! I made it. Okay. Boss time. Oh, <gasps> there he is! Oh, cool! You have to shoot him. Like his face? Yeah. Oh, you can't. Ow, you can't do anything about the beach ball. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, stupid me. Nice. Looks good. Yeah. Should I use the bomb? Yeah, I did. Everything kind of just shook a little bit. Yeah, it didn't... It must have taken something out of him. Jeez, how many times do you have to hit this dude? Many. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. 
Whatever happened to hit him three times like oh. Super Mario? That was a. <gasps> oh my god. 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 Ow. What the hell? What the hell? Can you hit them? Yeah, but. I guess the corner is safe. Oh my god. This is like a boss in itself. Yeah, only the corner is safe. Maybe I can strafe across? Ooh, I can. Okay. That's that's how you do it. There you go. <gasps> Ooh, three of them. Okay, the cat's being bad. I know, I know. Ignore him. He's, he'll stop. Oh, I dread what's going to be on this level. Oh! They're cute. Oh! Oh, you've got another continue. Is this the noise that somebody was commenting on? Yeah. No, 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 no. Those definitely seem like bees. <gasps> oh, oh, oh! Uber fast, uber fast <sighs> asteroids. Yeah, but still the same. Oh, oh my god. Okay, what's happening? It's bouncing. Oh my god. It's Do they pong. shoot? It is pong. He says he always wants to include a pong in his every game he has. The a game pong. of pong. A self playing pong. And if anybody wants to really closely follow what VHZC does, you definitely go to the Atari Age uh, Discord, because he's on it, always posting screenshots oh, nice. of uh, his games Things in progress yeah. that he's working on. So if you want to get sneak previews of stuff, that is the place to be. Okay, Craig, I don't want to go down with this. There we go. That's kind of cool. Oh, 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 there's... Oh my goodness. That's multi, a lot. Multi That's a death. lot. On my last continue. Oh my goodness. That was good though. Oh. And you you saw the beach ball uh, clown, which is <laughs> which awesome. Was good. That's really good. And kind of the mini boss afterwards. Look at this guy. He's back to the camera. You're so rude. Yeah, he's like, look at my butt. <laughs> I don't care about you. Everybody look at my butt. Look at my butt. Oh. He is so cute though. Oh my goodness. So let's check out the pole. Oh yeah, the pole. I forgot about the pole. Uh, I always forget about it too. Oh, in fair amount for number two, no thanks. Uh, crisp, clean edges. So everybody mm -hmm. uh, likes not having the scan lines. Mm -hmm. So 68.8% .8 of people, almost 70%, um, don't like scan lines. And But a good amount, 31.3% of people do like the scan lines. Mm -hmm. So it's good that there is the option. Um, so what a great roster of games today oh my god uh bob pacman plus posted a youtube of a new port for 7800 and 1980s arcade game Uniwars from irem yes and i've talked with bob and we are getting the exclusive um release on that when it comes out wake up mm. <laughs> it looks really really good mm. um it's like galaxian it's like a, a game that hardly anybody knows about uh Uniwars. Mm. Um, it, it very, very similar to Galaxian, but it's got some twists. Okay. It's got these little guys that have rotating shields and you have to shoot your shot. Oh, through the shields? In between the little tiny shields. The rotating shields? Yeah, and there's cool. a bunch of them. It looks really, I really like cool. That. Yeah. Um, so he says he's getting it done really quickly. So I, he might even get it done before the end of the year, at least a release version of it that people can see cool. and, and play maybe. Um, oh, Ricardo Pim subscribed Yay! for six months. Thank you so much. Oh, you Ricardo get the Pim. wagging, uh, wagging Atari oh, on the screen. The pixel. He's not wagging though. That's weird. wagging pixel. Sorry. Oh, he is. Yeah, he is. It's, he slow. Is. Okay. it's slow. I didn't make it too fast. So it was like, whoosh. he's not mad. He's yeah. just like, la 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 la. <laughs> I'll see it later. You'll see it later. <laughs> uh, basic versus six five zero two ASM uh, mm. for the Una Wars. Mm. Um. I don't know. I know a lot of people use 7800 Basic when making 7800 games because I think it, it seems to be very powerful because mm -hmm. there's a lot of good games. But I don't know what Bob uses, whether he uses ASM. I would lean towards it because his games are unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Like he did pa Baby Pac-Man. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one with the 
Yes, the yes. The pinball at the yeah. bottom and the maze at the top. That's very cool. Um, so I'm not sure. Um, uh, I suppose I was just looking at an Atari age, Bob D to the rescue. Has he done any projects, any other projects in 2020? I don't think so. I've got the list. Let's see. 2020 Does I maintain the lists for myself. <laughs> yeah. It's handy for other people too. Yeah. Uh, Pac-Man Plus. Mm -hmm. Uh, he finished Pac-Man Collection XM Enhanced this year. Um, and Unowars he has started. So, two? Two-ish? 7800 support to CA65. I've been using CA65 for my 800 revival projects. There's talk of adding, um, 7800 support to CA65. That's a compiler for, um, making games. Okay. Um, I believe it's assembly compiler. Okay. Yep. Because somebody posted um, some source code for a game, and I was trying to compile it. Mm. I was like, it's throwing a million errors at me. Oh yeah. And I was like, and I t and I asked him, oh, I'm trying to compile your game because he didn't post a binary. It was a 2600 game, and it was mm. a whole bunch of errors. And he's like, oh, I don't, I don't use. DASM, which like 99% of people oh, use. Oh, I see. He was using something else. else. And it yeah. It kind of looked like CA65, but I can't remember what it was. Mm. Um, anyway, I digress. That's programming. Um, <laughs> and I don't know enough about it. And I know to nothing talk. about it. <laughs> Authoritatively. So, I know this much. Yeah. Enough to embarrass myself sometimes <laughs> by saying wrong enough things. Enough to think I know more than I do. Yes, yeah. That's exactly uh, so we played four games today, mm -hmm. all of them very cool, mm -hmm. very awesome. The first one was very the surprise fun. homebrew. Oh, it was so cute. Uh, oh. From Leandro Camara, it was the zero page homebrew game. I guess. Oh. Is that what he called it? Yeah, zero ZPH. Page. It just said ZPH, ZPH on zero it. Zero page homebrew game. Yeah. And it had all the cast of characters. Yes. You could play as Atari, you could play as me, or Darcy, or Erla, and <laughs> Tanya. And then you played against Pixel. Yes. He is the boss. Yes. Um, that was super fun. So thank you so much, Leandro. That's, and it's a, it's <laughs> a so legitimate, cute. legitimate, fun, full yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really, really cool. It's really cute. And I just I had one suggestion for him. Make it a little bit faster when you're catching oh, the yeah. other person. Yeah, it's hard to actually it's win as James. It's so hard yeah. to win as me. Unless you win the pixel round, but yeah. Pixel round's fairly even. Yeah. I find that fun. But I don't know if I'll ever release it. It is just incredibly cute, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, incredibly cute. Thank you so much. I hope much. he does release it. I think that's a fun game. I, I yeah. Just make that alteration, then put it out. Yeah. I'll let him know if he doesn't. I'm sure he's going to watch it's, this. It's very sweet, yeah. Then we played uh, Breaking Bad Balloon so much fun oh my god mm -hmm. what a great platform side, scro side scroller kind of game yeah. yeah constantly bouncing yeah like amoeba jump isn't it endless mm -hmm. runner is what it is basically it's it just i would say it's in the category endlessly. of endless runner yeah 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 um yeah endless runners have more than one button yeah um, yeah. yeah, it's an endless runner. You don't stop. There's mm -hmm. no levels. It just continues. The, the background running. changes. Mm. So, and that's always good. You don't want a game to have just continuous. It doesn't seem like it's progressing. <laughs> Nitrous oxide balloons. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You let out a, a little bit. Yeah, and, woo! Yeah, it's very... He's, he's less floaty and more definitely on a spring. He's like bang, yeah, yeah. He's like, he's like a balloon it's, on a it's, spring. It's almost, almost like his his curly tail. His ribbon is a spring, and he just yeah. bounces up. Yeah. Highly recommended downloading it. Yeah. I I'm looking forward to playing that again because it's still yeah. a work in progress. So. But it, but you were enjoying it, and again, it has oh that repeatability where like no, yeah. play it again, and keep going. Because yeah. it's not a long game. Like it takes. Well, there are quite minutes. a few levels. I mean, I don't know oh, if yeah. there are more levels beyond to where Probably. you got, but Probably. yeah. yeah. At least a few, I think. Yeah. But it doesn't take long to get to that, mm. like a couple minutes. So it's easy to play it over and over and yeah. over again. Uh, Berserk Soccer, uh, it's more like a demo to show off the Batari basic. It still works. It's still a neat it's little a game. full game. Um, Nicely... Um, conceptualize the berserk yep. world and yeah it's got fun some fun things yeah. the ufo zaps in the soccer ball yeah um like it. it's got lots yeah. of great graphics mm. um weird controls on kicking the soccer ball mm. um but it it's is got, a little weird yeah and it's got auto goalies 
where it zaps the ball doom, back doom, to the center. Doom, doom, doom. Yeah, because there's cool the walls. Add-on. Yeah, it is. So you have to time it so you don't hit the wall. And there's like lasers too that zap you or the ball and like send you back. Like just yes. really quick lasers. Yeah. Super fun. Yeah. And A Roach in Space, another masterpiece by VHZC. Yeah. Uh, is sequel to A Roach in Space. Roach yeah. in Space 2. Mm. Yeah. Beautiful graphics. And These graphics are always amazing. Such good gameplay. Yeah. Uh, made it very far. Farther than I had hoped. Yeah. So, which yeah. is good. Yeah. Uh, made it to the second boss. Maybe almost halfway to the third boss. So when he releases another update, might throw it in again. Mm. Um, to see if I can do any better. Um, no suggestions here. No, nope. it's a good game. <laughs> it's really good. It's a fun game to play. Um, Download it, play it if you can. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It is great seeing VHZC doing seven eight hundred. Yeah. He's almost exclusively now doing seven eight hundred games. games. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I want to make a comment about seven eight hundred. It has taken off. Like has it? Crazy. That's so good. From last year to this year, it's night and day. Yeah, you're seeing a lot more of people working on it. Like five times as many projects That's this really year good. as yeah. last year. That's really good. Um, and now that the SD cartridge is out, that's going to make it explode. Yeah. Because people can test their games on real yeah. consoles. Yeah. Players can play these games on real consoles. Mm. Um, yeah, it's going to go through the roof, I think, 7800. Cool. Yeah. Um, and a lot of people are realizing the power of them, power of 7800. Yes. Yeah. The games are way more advanced than before. Than I'm seeing before. Yeah. Like there was a handful of really, really good games, mm. and then the other ones were like, you know, not as ad- advanced programming. And now they're like, people really show what it can be done with with the basic 7800 basic. Mm. Yeah. So it should be a good award show this year. I think so. For 7800. Yeah. I hope a, f- a couple more complete their games before the end of the year, mm. which there's a bunch very close, because I think there's only like four or five that are completed. So we're not mm. even narrowing those down. It's just like, here they are. Here's all of them. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Um, but there's some really crazy contenders for work in progress. Mm. Really good ones. Excellent. Yeah. So that'll yeah. be Excellent. a fun vote, let's say, yeah. for the 7800. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, so coming up, shows. We're almost to the end of November. Mm which is crazy. Reach out to Fultonbot. He has some work in progress. You can encourage to be done by then. Oh, nice. Let's see what he's got. Yeah, he's got a couple. He's got Into the Void, Last Stand Halloween, which I haven't seen much come out, Number Crusher, mm-hmm. which I've seen some some screens sh- or some video of. So he's got three in the can right now. Or not in the can, getting close to it. I don't know if he's, uh, how close he is on any of those. I haven't really mm. seen them. But I'm in, I'm in touch with Fulton Bot. Um, and I'm sure he'll pass it over. Mm. When he's ready. When yeah. he's ready to, to show it off. So nice. I'm looking forward to those. Especially Into the Void, because it's a shooter. Mm. A space nice. shooter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I think Number Crusher is pretty close. It's like a, almost a kid's vertical racer. You run over numbers. Oh, really? Not sure what you do in it yet, whether like you just go for numbers? big numbers or yeah. you have to match numbers, gotcha. but it looks it looks like a fun a fun game that's, that's cool. made like almost an educational educational game. game. Mm. Last Stand Halloween, I can't remember anything about that. I'm just going to look really quickly. Oh, it's Yeah, we're going to play that next Halloween. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um it's like a rotating shooting space game where oh, things are coming in at you. Nice. I think it's a port of something. A port of another game, I can't remember. That he made. Yeah. Oh, Last Stand. Oh, it's a port of another game called Last Stand. Anyway. Uh he's got a bunch of games on the ro- on the roster. Yeah. Also mm-hmm. big news from Atari Age was the upcoming CDFJ cartridge games for twenty six hundred can go to one twenty eight five. 12k yeah that is big um i didn't talk about that yet in the news Mm. there's a new um bank switching technique Mm. that won't work work with the existing cartridge hardware that they use for their current lineup of, of things okay so this one has a lot more memory okay a lot more rom a lot more ram 
So it will be a big, big leap forward um, in supporting bigger games. Mm. Um, and it supports CDFJ, which is the newest bank switching scheme. Okay. Um, so they... Oh, yeah, and the concerto thread. Yeah, I read something about it, so I don't know how far along they are with making those um, boards yet. Mm. But I'll definitely talk about it in the news when I see a, a com more comprehensive thread about it. Mm. But I'll, I'll take a look into that for the next episode. Mm. Um, because that'll allow for massive games. Like 128k yeah. that's crazy. Of, <laughs> of RAM. Yeah. Uh, that's like a thousand times how much RAM there is, in, is in, in the machine. Yeah. In the base. Yeah. And 512k of ROM. Um, four is like kind of the standard minimum so Four. that's like yeah a hundred times rom so that's insane you can pretty much go through the roof mm. um i think the biggest thing i've ever seen for the atari 2600 is a demo called bad apple and it's pretty much just a three minute movie oh, okay that's all done in playfield yeah it's just frame after frame after frame it's not a game yeah and the biggest game i've seen is a couple that are 128k. Okay. One of them is Penalt. Oh, it's, like, it's huge. It's an RPG yeah, that world makes sense. Yeah. with towns in the world that yeah. expand out as well. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Um, I'd love to have that much space to play with. Yeah, it's going to be a, a big game changer. Mm. I don't know if you have to use the CDFJ architecture. You probably do have to use that for the bank switching. I don't know if you have to use the ARM too much. I'm sure there'll be tutorials that Daryl Spice will put up on how to ch how to use it but you, maybe you don't have to use like program in the arm mm. you can just use it for bank switching and accessing all that memory and not have to program in c but i don't know yet i don't know i haven't done my research yet <laughs> yeah <laughs> and i wouldn't understand half of it but i can relay it to everyone mm. at least uh developer spotlight is coming up in a month john shampo very excited about mm -hmm. that um plus a premiere of gorf arcade on the same day Mm. So that's a new game. Everybody's that's very, very looking forward to. Yeah, I was very surprised excited. when he announced it how many fans of Gorf there are. Like really big fans. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it's like a multi screen. What day are you planning that? No. Uh, that, well, they're all Fridays because there is no Tuesday. Yeah, right now. but the 18th, 18th is that what you have? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, it's our Hopefully. last yeah. show. Before Christmas? But not really because we're going to do a Christmas show after that. I it's think It's just so. not as scheduled. It won't be on the Friday because that's Christmas or something. Yeah. It'll be like a Tuesday. Yeah, but Wednesday. what are we doing on Christmas anyway? No one's allowed to gather, so we're exactly. sitting at home and having our vegan uh, mm. Christmas dinner. And... Maybe we will do it on yeah. Christmas. <laughs> like, actually, what yeah. is it? Let's see. November, December, it's the 25th. Maybe we we'll actually, <laughs> we'll actually do it on the 25th because you can't go anywhere. <laughs> and you neither can you. So let's all gather around the TV and warm ourselves <laughs> through the glow through of the, the 2600 and 7800. Warm up. Yes. With the <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So I, yeah, I'll schedule for that. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Um, we have some massive, massive shows coming up that I mm. can't tell you about still. Soon. Oh, one yeah. Will, one will be very soon. He just soon. likes to tease, but he doesn't like to actually give anything away, so. Yep. One's very, very soon. Mm. And the other one's soonish as well. Mm. Um, I should be able to, um, announce one of them soon, maybe. Um, but you'll love both of them. You'll have a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. We'll have a lot of fun. They won't be on Fridays. They'll be on probably a Saturday or Sunday. Um, one of them definitely will be on a Saturday or Sunday, most likely Saturday. Mm. It's going to be like six hours long. <laughs> six or eight hours long. I don't know how long is it going to be. It's going to be long. It's going to be long. Really long. All right. Maybe. I don't know. It's going to be long. It's going to be like at least four. Um, <laughs> and the other one's going to blow your minds. <laughs> blow your minds. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> uh, and then in the new year, we're going to be playing through all of the nominees. So that's going to be kind of a best of 2020. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to play all the 
2600 games mm -hmm. work in progress and they're completed all the 7800 work in progress and completed we can play the 8-bit games um yeah it's gonna be just a ton and then on the 6th february 6th i am so mean yeah. <laughs> i literally can't tell you <laughs> i i would love to tell you both of them but mm. i can't i literally can't yeah yeah literally under signed contract oh, yeah on one of them <laughs> best of 2020 will indeed be lots of fun yeah good be... things have come out of 2020 just yeah a gets... lot of bad things have too but there are good things in there there are good things in there yeah, yeah. Uh, including our closet so yeah february yes. 6th <laughs> february 6th is the third annual Yay! atari home rewards right here actually mm -hmm. i've got a graphic i gotta show you guys I gotta show you guys the graphic that I took. Tanya hasn't seen this. No, I haven't. Um, so don't freak out till they can see it. Okay. I won't look. Yeah, don't look. Uh, I'll look at this lovely award. Uh, let's see. How should I do this? Yeah, this is not bad. Okay. Okay, go for it. Ooh. So that's a photo I took today. <laughs> Is that on our carpet? <laughs> <laughs> you can recognize it, but um, that's hilarious. Looks good, doesn't it? it Almost does looks look like rock, <laughs> like gravelly rock. It's on. So it's that this. That makes me laugh so much. And it's got just one oh light goodness. to the side. The lights we use for the show. It's just yeah. got one light, which gave this beautiful round glow to it yeah. and lit up all the sides on it. So it creates a perfect outline. Mm. Um, yeah, and it shows third annual Atari Homebrew Awards. Celebrating the best in Atari Homebrew. Mm -hmm. That's my uh, tagline. Nice. And that's just that's just a promo. Uh, I'm not putting it up, though yet i'm gonna retake the the photo on. are you yeah oh it's cute though because i need some look at the i need carpet. some options yeah, it's clean <laughs> the new it. carpet makes an appearance <laughs> <laughs> yes. so it's on february 6th 2021 12 p.m pacific mm. time that's 3 p.m eastern time mm. 8 or 9 p.m gmt i think it's 9 p.m now gmt mm. um so put in your calendars book the day off work it's saturday um, adding the cat to the picture. <laughs> Little paw. Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Swipe. <laughs> Knock. That would be cool, but that impossible would... to capture. Yeah, That'd be yeah. so hard. Yeah. Um, we'd have to stage it. Um, uh, yeah, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So that's a nice photo. Mm -hmm. Just worked out really well. Like, I just went plunk, plunk. Oh, my God, this looks amazing. <laughs> of course, a lot of Photoshop. If you cranked up the um don't 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 point out its foibles just it's cute you may not be able to if you cranked up the the um the brightness you could see the door in behind there oh really but i don't think it may be crushed too much i don't maybe you can't anyway. oh wait i can't see it but... no you can't but i mean if you took it into photoshop and oh like, yeah because you can see a very thin the line. light of the oh, line. That's so yeah. funny. But anyway, I, I did that in Photoshop. And that it is turned hilarious. out amazing. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Um, so thanks for hanging out with us yes. today. Yes. Um, uh, Mark Space Inc., Dan AVC, Miss Command, Mick Muse, I Sposta, mm -hmm. uh, Ricardo, Ricardo Pym, Flackets. Uh, Captain Classic, mm -hmm. Arena Foot, Low Arena Hello. Foot, Thunkus, Great Offender, Cafe Man 2D, Smitty B7 800, Have to say it louder. <laughs> it, it's right here, so usually they can pick me up. Carl G, Cafe Man 2D, you mentioned the D, D Train, had to run off for homework. Oh, uh, he'll see it later. Mm -hmm. That's not a real person. Pull map. Shoki, <laughs> Shoki 1968. Full name. Al Nefer. Daniel Medina, 2600. Excellent. Uh, oh, that's a spammer. Yeah. Didn't even see him. Yeah, it, it scrolled up really fast. You are... Well, I'll just block him. Block. Not that it matters. They just, no, they just pop point. in and out. Yeah. Uh, deactivated Styles, Kev Kelly, 
Uh, NES draw dro drogue. Drog. Just say that drog. Raphael Cardoz S A O. <laughs> Long Portuguese Cardoso. names. Yep. That I'm messing Splendid up. Splendid nut I saw in there somewhere. Oh, splendid nut yeah. as well. Anyway, lots of people. Thank, thank you, you so for much. tuning in. We had a ton of fun today. Yeah, Clinks. great games. Four great games. Yeah, all of them guys, are really really fun. All these developers keep surprising me with more <laughs> yeah. and more and more games, mm. and uh, there's so much going on in the uh, scene that one show a week is definitely not enough no um but luckily it's winding down a little bit at christmas yeah so I'm able and you'll to have a few in. extra shows in there so that's yeah, I'll yeah. Have a few extra shows but yeah. we'll be back to full speed in the new year mm -hmm. um but i have a lot to prepare for so thanks everybody and mm -hmm. uh we'll see you next friday with a whole bunch more new games yes okay excellent bye everyone have a good weekend bye, have a good weekend. bye, -bye.